seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're good. The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR Classic Hits 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. Well, a good evening to you, Ranger Nation, as we welcome you live inside of Percival Fieldhouse on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University here in Alva, Oklahoma, for tonight's matchup featuring the visitors from Manhattan, Kansas, the Manhattan Christian Thunder, and your Northwestern Rangers. Rangers today will be again the home opener for Northwestern Ranger basketball. As again, they picked up their most recent win on the road at Midwestern State. That was last week. And the Rangers again will open up the 2022-23 season here at home tonight against Manhattan Christian. The tip time is scheduled for 7 o'clock. Our pregame show begins right now. Hello, everybody. I'm Dustin Goodnose. We welcome you here to the broadcast. Connor Gray back in studio, my partner for the night. Chris Rubal, your Ranger basketball crew here tonight from Percival Fieldhouse. We're going to take an opening timeout, come back, set the stage between Northwestern and Manhattan Christian right after this commercial break. This is Ranger basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Maybe you didn't know, but people with the flu can spread it up to six feet away, or that the flu can make your chronic conditions worse, or that experts say anyone who lives or works with children should be vaccinated. Maybe you didn't know all the stuff your local pharmacy, Holder Drug, knew the whole time. Stop in and make sure you've been vaccinated this winter as Holder Drug is giving flu and pneumonia shots in the pharmacy. Most insurance coverage will cover your shots. So stop in and see Holder Drug in business for your health since 1952. Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can be easily corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-alvavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. Alva Vision Clinic proudly supports Ranger and Goldbug activities. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hi, it's Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we let our reputation speak for itself. Here's what the family of one of our residents had to say about their experience. The love and patience projected by the administration and staff is greatly appreciated by our family. The difference between a job and ministry is evident at Beatles Nursing Home. If you're looking for comprehensive health care in a Christian environment, look no further than Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Welcome back inside of Percival Fieldhouse as we begin the Dean Gall Real Estate Auction pregame show for Northwestern and Manhattan Christian here tonight. Again, from Percival Fieldhouse, bringing my partner for the evening, Chris Ruwalt. Chris, great to be back here with you as we open up uh, the home season opener, I guess, for Northwestern Ranger basketball. Good to be back here, though, with you. Yeah, it is good to be back and, uh, you know, had a great time uh, covering the uh, Lady Rangers. What, this time last week, right? Yeah, where they uh, where they uh, took care of uh, the Panhandle State Aggies. And so now we get the, uh, the fellas, see how they do against a really good uh, Manhattan Christian College team. Yeah, they are. Again, uh, Northwestern has played Manhattan Christian a year ago, which we'll talk more about that later on in the pregame show. But I do want to run, th run down the Great American Conference standings. Right now, East Central on top at 4-0. Harding on to, uh, right there with them at 4-0. Northwestern in third currently. Uh, the Rangers, in fact, have only played one game. Everybody else has played at least three or four games so far to this point. Watchtaw Baptist 2-0. Southern Nazarene 2-1. Southeastern 1-1. Southern Arkansas 2-2. Two two. They've won two straight. Arkansas Monticello 1-2. Henderson State 1-2. OBU and Southwestern all 1-2. Arkansas Tech has yet to pick up their first victory of the season. And when you look at those standing, Chris, this is what makes it kind of tough for Northwestern is we talked about with Coach Dieselhorst, you know, how, how to mentally, you know, how does that change as far as what you do for the season when you have the Northeastern State, the UCO game? Well, this Ranger men's team is dealing with that same thing. When you look through these teams, they've played three and four games already. Rangers have only got one game under your belt. And again, conference play is uh, less than two weeks away. Yeah, again, you know, a lot like the uh, the Lady Rangers, you know, there's just not a whole lot of time to really kind of find your groove where, where you want to become uh, conference time. But, uh, 
you know, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you just gotta you just gotta find that extra gear and you gotta find it quick. You certainly do, and, and really you look at it, the Rangers, even though they open up the season on the road, it's only the second game of the year. Last Thursday, they played a very good Midwestern State team on the road. Midwestern State had already played two games. It was their third game of the season. Rangers opened up in Wichita Falls last week. Northwestern stole one on the road, and I say that literally because the Rangers got a steal with about two and a half, three seconds left uh, to figure out a way to come back and win that game after leading by as many as 16 in the first half. Uh, ended up losing the lead in the second half with about eight, nine minutes to go. Was down six with about four minutes to go, but boy, Northwestern really gutted it out. And it was a big game. You look at it uh, last week for Malik Parsons, finished with 22 and 12. Brian Free also had 12 points. Larry White had 13. And those three guys, uh, Chris, I know we talk a lot about those three. Those are kind of the big three for Northwestern. And, you know, Coach Harmon's going to really count on those guys when you look at what they've done a year ago and coming into this season. Well, and, and, and you really have to. And, you know, goodness gracious, Malik Parsons with 22 and 12 that night, I mean, you know, earns him GAC Player of the Week, which 22 and 12 will do that for you. You get those kind of numbers, you're going to get a lot of Player of the Week awards. But well, And he also went 8 of 8 from the foul. Yeah, line. absolutely, just clutch. And, you know, the thing about, about games like that, you know, you go on the road. First of all, you go on the road against a really good team and you beat them. So that's great. But then also to have to hang on and you face some adversity. You had the, 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 the big first half lead. They came back. And then you had to fight for those last eight minutes. And you had to come up and make a play at the end. Those are really good, especially early in the season, because they're confidence builders. Now you're going to get to conference play. And you're going to probably have to play games like that. You're going to have to play some good teams. You're going to have to play them at their place. And, and you're going to have to figure out a way to make a play at the end of the game to win. But now you've done it. And so uh, those kind of those kind of uh, victories can be really beneficial. They certainly can. And, you know, talked about Malik Parsons. He had three steals in that game, but two of them were in the last couple of minutes. I think he scored the last eight points for the Rangers. He came up absolutely huge because Larry White got in foul trouble, which that's kind of been an issue for the Rangers, even going back a season ago. Cheval Butters, who is the starting center tonight for Northwestern, he got into foul trouble. And again, that's going to be key against a team tonight where you have a distinct size advantage. If you're able to keep those guys on the floor, the Rangers shouldn't have a whole lot of trouble here tonight against Manhattan Christian. No, they shouldn't, but this isn't a team you want to take lightly either. I mean, this is uh, this team, you know, Coach has really built this program up well, and, you know, they they shoot the ball well. You know, you look at their numbers. Um, let me see, where am I? Okay, so 33% from three, 27%. You know, the guard's a little bit more shaky. You know, Handy, who's their top scorer, you know, he's he's getting 29% from three. Um, Reed, I'm sorry, is, is their top scorer. He's, short, he's shooting 42%, but but they're throwing up a lot of threes, and so they're going to try to, you know, they're going to try to extend your defense, and they're going to try to hit shots on you. I guess every team tries to hit shots on you, right? But um, you know, the, my, my, my point just being that this is not really a team that you can take lightly. No, you certainly can, and we talk about the matchup a season ago uh, where Northwestern did pick up a 96-76 win, but we go back in that first half. I had the call of that one last year, and it was not an easy game. The Rangers, in fact, led by just five at halftime, 47-42. Manhattan Christian went seven for seven from beyond the arc. They ended up going just nine of 18, so only hitting two in the second half. They did shoot at almost 50% for the game. So now the difference between a year ago to this year is Jordan Marshall is not on the team. Jordan Marshall dropped 23 last year against the Rangers. He also had a big game when he was also at Randall against Northwestern. But when you look at the pieces they've got coming back, a lot of these guys were the same starters a year ago, and a lot of them played in this game against Northwestern. So a very veteran team that Coach Strom is bringing in uh, to play Northwestern tonight. Yeah, I mean, three seniors and two juniors in their starting lineup. Um, and, and, and it's a team look. I mean, last year, you know, you look what they accomplished, not just when they played Northwestern, but you're talking about a team that went 24-9 and nine and won their conference going 11-1. and one. And then ended up uh, making the final four in, in, in their national tournament and said they finished ranked third. And so it's it, it's a team, you're right, it, it's a veteran team, it's a good team, it's a team that knows how to win. And so now it's a team that Northwestern should beat, no question about that. But it's not a team you want to let hang around either. You certainly don't. As again, we continue on with our Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. We'll take another time out and come back and have more after this. This is Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. 
Get no better deal than the as a registered representative offering securities and advisory services through the United Planners Financial Services, member FINRA, SIPC. ENJ Financial and United Planners are not affiliated. United Planners does not offer tax advice. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alba with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. Welcome back inside of Percival Fieldhouse as we continue the Dean Gall Real Estate Auction pregame show. Dustin Gano alongside Chris Rewalt, your Ranger basketball crew here tonight as it's the home opener for the 2022-23 season for the Rangers. Goes over some other numbers from that win against Midwestern State. The Rangers again led at halftime 35-32. Out about scoring Midwestern State 32-31 in the second half for that 67-64 lead. Rangers won in the paint 26-22. They also won in points off turnovers 20-15. Second chance points, though, were really tough as the Rangers were beaten on the boards, uh, minus six in the rebounding as they were out-rebounded 46 to 40. Gave up 21 second chance points again to Midwestern State last week. Rangers did, Dauber did a good job getting out of the fast break as they led it 14 to eight. Rangers last week were led in scoring by Malik Parsons who had 22. Larry White finished with 13. 12 points from Brian Free. They also got nine from a player that I'm really gonna enjoy liking this year is uh, Kennedy Milton, who's a transfer, but originally out of Garland, Texas, but he's a transfer from Southeastern Community College. Came up big, had nine points, five rebounds, four assists, and four steals in that game. Went just three of 11 from the floor, but hit some big shots for the Rangers in that game. Uh, in fact, when you look at it, uh, for Milton, he did go one of two from beyond the arc. Also went two for four from the foul line. On the other side, uh, again, some other players who chipped in for the Rangers. Eric Kansik had two, Jason Stanley. Jason Douglas Stanley went just one of five from the floor for two points. Chance Love also finished with two. Rangers did not shoot it very well, though. They went just four of 18 from beyond the arc, went 22%. However, Northwestern, this is a percentage that's very good to see, Chris. I, I know it's just you know the first game, but the Rangers, a year ago under Benet Patel, we struggled a little bit with the foul shooting. Rangers went 17 of 20. Uh, and that's going to win you a lot of close ball games when you do that, when you take advantage and then ultimately capitalize uh, from the foul line. Yeah, I mean, gracious, if you're going to shoot 85% from the free throw line, that's going to that's gonna be pretty sparkling. And you certainly don't expect them to shoot that. But but you certainly would expect them to shoot. You know, if you know if a team can get you, you know, 70%, you know, 72 75%, you know, that's, that's usually pretty good. That's usually good enough to at least win a lot of those close games. And, Boy, you're right. That's a that's a huge area of improvement. And you're right. It, it's one game, but it's it certainly started off in the right direction. It certainly has, and and that's was the, one of the reasons that actually Midwestern State was even in the game, as they the Rangers defensively were outstanding, very aggressive, and you're going to see that here tonight. Northwestern held Midwestern State to just 17 of 59 from the floor, 28 percent, six of 26 from three, 23 percent. Where Midwestern State though was in the game. You know, the Rangers shot 85%. Midwestern State shot 82%, went 24 of 29. So just wow. incredible free throw numbers put up by uh, both teams. And in, in fact, you combine to see it go 41 of 49. You just don't see that very often for no. two teams in a game. No, you really don't. That's that's a free throw shooting clinic almost, isn't it? It certainly is. And let's take a look at uh, the team real quick tonight. Again, Manhattan Christian, they come in with a record of 4-2 and two so far this season. In fact, after this, they'll be on the road at Fort Hayes State. A year ago, again, they went 24-9. and nine. They went 11-1 and one in conference play. Their most recent win came against Randall as they won it 81-70. to 70. They were 6-5 and five on the road in 2021-22. Of course, their head coach is... Uh, Chris had talked about very successful at Manhattan Christian. Jordan Strom in his fourth season went 65 and 33 to this point, 27 and three in the conference. That's play. ridiculous. That's, that's pretty good. Well, here, here's something else about Jordan Strom. So before he was at Manhattan uh, Christian College, of course, that's his alma mater. He, he got a degree from that school. Before he was there, he was at Dallas Christian Community College uh, down there in the in the Metroplex. And his first year there, he improved their win total by 16. They go 18 and nine that year and finish ranked fifth in the country in, in in their division. He's he's been to four NCAA tournaments in his career and he hadn't been a head coach that long. Eight years he's been a head coach or six years, I can't remember which. Point is he hadn't been there very long in that position. 
He's been to four NCAA tournaments. He's been and and this this is his track record in the four NCAA tournaments: three Elite Eights and one Final Four. Yeah, I've had a just lot of an success. outstanding coach. Yeah, Wait, forced them into mistakes, forced them into bad shots, and because if if you lose your defensive intensity, this is a team that can make you pay, and you just can't. You've got it. This has got to be forty minutes of focused defense tonight. It certainly does. And before we get to, uh, again, coming up, we just got over a minute left, so let's jump right into our G&G &G Home Furnishing keys to the game. Chris, what do you got? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, I just said one, you know, as far as the ball pressure. It's, it's got to be there, and it's got to be there from the get-go. And then another thing is, you know, they, they will make mistake in the passing, and so you got to play the passing lanes. you got to be aggressive looking for steals there because there are some there. And then, of course, you got to play hard. You know, the, you, you, you got to bring the intensity, right? I mean, this is not a team to fool around with. Again, it's a team you should beat. But it's not a team you want to fool around with. You want to take them seriously. You want to be intense from the opening uh, jump to the final whistle. There or you have the it. final buzzer? The buzzer in basketball, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. That's the G&G &G Home Furnishings Keys to the Game by my partner, Chris Ruwalt. As we will take our final timeout, when we come back, we'll have the national anthem starting lineup for Northwestern and Manhattan Christian as we put a close to the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug from the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Northwestern football is here, and just like the Rangers, Bank Central is here to help you make your goals. We have several consumer loans available to best fit you. Our knowledgeable loan officers are here and ready to assist you. All loans are subject to credit and underwriting. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. Head to the end zone with Bank Central, located at 604 Flint Street, or call 580-327-1122. That's 580-327-1122. Member FDIC. And welcome back here inside of Personal Field as we're about to get underway as we will now go courtside to our crowd mic for the playing the of our the national Western anthem. With State University, the Great American Conference of the NCAA, good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, or actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated in our grounds for removal from this night of competition. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please and face the flag high above center court for the playing of our national anthem. Have the final notes of the Star Spangled Banner as we'll now go courtside once again to our public address announcer, Matt Ader, for your starting lineup. Christian College. The Thunder will start a six foot one inch senior, number five, Ferdinand. A six foot five inch junior, number 12, Dylan. Starting under a five foot eight inch senior, number 13, Tremont Lindsay. The Thunder will start a six foot one inch senior, number 15, Jordan White. And rounding out the starting lineup is six foot five inch junior, number 20, Garrett Harmison. The Thunder are coached by head coach Jordan Strong. Ladies and gentlemen, 
gentlemen. Now for the home team, your... The Rangers will start a six foot three inch junior from Garland. Kennedy Milton. Starting for the Rangers, a six foot three inch senior from San Diego, California. Number three, Malik Parson. Starting for the Rangers, a five foot eight inch graduate from Greensboro, North Carolina. Number four, Brian Free. And starting for the Rangers, a six foot five inch junior from Topeka, Kansas, number five, Larry White. Finally, starting for the Rangers, a six foot eight inch freshman from Freeport, Bahamas. Number Your Rangers are coached by head coach Robbie Harvin, assistant coach Cody Hitson, and graduate assistants Jarius Steve. Rangers! <laughs> Terrific job, as always, by our public address announcer, Matt Adair. Is Northwestern? Very, very passionate. A lot of energy. It certainly is. Gonna need that one tonight. Manhattan Christian, of course, will be in their road dark blues with the white Manhattan Christian across the front, the blue lettering with the white outline and trim. Rangers will be in their home whites with the black Northwest or black Rangers across the front, the red numbering with the red and black trim along the front and on the shorts. Northwestern moving left to right across your radio dial. Manhattan Christian will be moving right to left here tonight. Rangers, of course, won this matchup a season ago, 96 to 76. Used a big second half to come up with that victory over Manhattan Christian. As Harmison will jump it against Butters. Butters wins the opening tip. Rangers are 2-0 in the opening tip now this year. And Brian Free will bring it into the front court. Free will hand it Milton left wing around the screen from Butters. Here's the lob. Parsons misses it at the rim. Larry White offensive rebound. Stick back is good. And the Rangers strike first, leading it 2-0. Love the aggressiveness. Love using your size, your ability to jump, get up there. Good start for the Rangers. Back comes Manhattan Christian. As here's a pass to Ferdinand Handy on the baseline. Good closeout by Milton. Back to Tamont Lindsay. Lindsay near side to Jordan White. They'll swing it all the way. Left wing out of Harmison on the baseline. Back to Handy. Handy around the screen, guarded by Milton. Now five to shoot. Handy steps back beyond the arc. Gets to Harmison. Back to Handy underneath. Layup blocked away. Re Brian Free with the rebound. Quickly up ahead to Milton. Milton to Parsons. Back to free, thought about the three, but good closeout from behind by Ferdinand Andy. Parsons left wing will penetrate, stop the foul line, kicks it to free, open for three from the right wing, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds, run down by Larry White, but they're gonna say step from the baseline. Ball will go back to Manhattan Christian. Again, early on, Rangers being very aggressive on both sides of the, of, of the court, and you love to see it. Rangers starting out with a press, I love this too. And again, Rangers were very good. It's Midwestern State forcing a lot of turnovers. That opening game last Thursday is there's a pass underneath and a whistle and a foul called. And Shaval Butters has picked up his first a minute 20 seconds in. And again, he fouled out against Midwestern State. Well, that's obviously not what you want. Now you got to be a little careful. There you go. Great Rangers defense. Driving in and shot blocked by Dylan, from Dylan Reed. Rangers come back with it, second block of the game so far. Parsons now to Milton, steps into a right corner three. No good off the back iron. Rebound taken by Tamont Lindsay. Played nearly two minutes. Rangers up on top, 2-0. Harmison, they go to Tamont Lindsay right wing. Now back to Ferdinand Handy drives all the way in. High scoop layup is around the rim and in off the glass, and we're tied at two. Yeah, that that Handy, he's just a guy that can he he, he wants to go left, and so you got to force him right. But boy, he's just a physical player. And the Rangers couldn't force him right that time as he was able to use that left hand and get to the rim. As Milton kicks it out to Parsons, right corner three rattled out, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Larry White. And the Rangers now one for five to start. Ball will go back over to Manhattan Christian. Yeah, they're, they're one for five, but they're getting good shots, and that's what you want because eventually those shots are going to start falling. You keep executing your offense the way that you are. 
Here comes Ferdinand Handy from Manhattan Christian. He'll hand to Dylan Reed. Reed with it, right wing, fake the pass, steps into a three, pinballed out, no good. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Malik Parsons. Out of Milton, Milton wants to run, penetrates into the bait, stops, right elbow jumper, no good, but there's a foul called on the jump shot. This will go against Ferdinand Handy, his first, first team foul. Yeah, and foul calls usually go to the team that's playing with the most aggressiveness. And boy, early on, that's been the Northwestern Rangers. Just very fast pace, a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. A couple of blocks already for the for the Rangers. One by uh, Milton and one by uh, by Butters. First free throw is up and no good. Of course, Milton came in two for four. Now make it two for five on the season. Second free throw from Milton is good as he makes one of two. Rangers lead it three to two on the Community Bank scoreboard. Walking this one up will be Tamont Lindsay. Lindsay pressured at the half line by Parsons, creates some space with an off arm. Lindsay still with the basketball, now into the hands of Dylan Reed. Jumper in the paint is good as it's 4-3. Manhattan Christian, yeah, they've you, got their you, first lead. Yeah, you can't lose him, and that time the Rangers did because he'll make you pay. White into the paint, falling nice. away, scores with a right hand. Nice finish by Larry White. Rangers back on top. Quickly back comes Manhattan Christian. Dylan Reed to Harmison. And adding the takeaway to Tavon Lindsay, got it back, thought about the three, drives in, step back jumper, no good off the back iron. Parson to the rebound, then had it poked away from behind. Lindsay's got it, drives all the way in, layup no good. And the tip in it, or excuse me, the offensive rebound and stick back is good from Garrett Harmison, his first two at 6-5 Thunder. Good transition defense from Larry White. He was just after the first shot. There was nobody there by the Rangers to grab the rebound, and Larry was just out of position, but really good initial transition defense. Milton with it left wing, 15 to shoot, up top to Butters. Looks right, throws right to Parsons. Now to Free coming off the screen. Around the screen now from Butters. Good defense, though, by Tamont Lindsay to stay right with him. Now back to Butters, straight away for three. Oh, that's an air ball, no good. Butters now 0 for 2 from beyond the arc this season. Ball goes back to the Thunder. I tell you, Brian White is such a good point guard. He's such a good guy to have. He's so smart. He's a graduate student, got his bachelor's degree in math, of all things. I'm one of those three out of two people that struggle with math. Brian, Brian White's just super, super sharp. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Here's a three from Dylan Reed, and he hits it. It's now 9-5 Manhattan Christian, 15-40 yeah. to go first half. And, and, and he's the guy that you can't lose because he's constantly moving without the ball. Rangers' problem early on is just their inability to make shots. Yeah, Northwestern two for seven. Parsons penetrates underneath to Butters. Turnaround layup good off the glass, and it's now 9-7. Butters has his first two. Yeah, all set up by Parsons, who had the drive and dish. Comes the Thunder, Tavon Lindsay with the basketball. Hands to Jordan White. Jordan White dribbles all the way to the right wing, picked up his dribble, goes to Harmison, gets by Butters, drives all the way in, layup good, and boy, Butters just lost it. Yeah, and that's and that's what you can't do because they'll they'll just they'll keep going to that hole and, and, and you've got to close it off. Parsons, he's cut off. Good start in this one. Thunder though lead at 11 7 Brian Free, top of the key. Now back to Larry White. White will penetrate all the way in. Floater high up, no good. Got his own offensive rebound, then lost it. Ball's on the floor. And we're going to get a reach in foul called this coming against Manhattan Christian. And that will go against Harmison. That'll lead us to our first media timeout. 14.45 to go here in the first half. Northwestern trailing 11 to 7 on the Community Bank School Board to Manhattan Christian. This is, late, this is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Jessica, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Are you looking for that new addition to your home for the fall season? Your friends at G&G Home Furnishings have several new items to browse through for your home, room, or office. Right now, come in and check out their fall sale with Ashley Products Markdown, Lazy Boy Recliners on sale, and all appliances and mattresses on sale as well. 
You can see a lot of their great products by visiting them online at gnghomefurnishings.com or come by and see them in person at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alba. Welcome back inside of Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Goodwill alongside Chris Ruwalt. 1445 to play here in the opening half. Manhattan Christian leading Northwestern. 11 to 7. Inbounds pass goes to Chance Love, who scores at the rim. And then Harmison went down. I think Harmison may have taken a shot to the face. It's now 11 to 9. Harmison still on the floor on the baseline. Teammates help him back up though. I think Harmison was hoping to get a charge there, but uh, he was inside the restricted circle and they're not going to call that. Substitution. Looks like we're going to see our first of the day, Cody Miracle, the 6'6 sophomore from Manhattan, Kansas. Tallest player on the team, he and Alex Sturtz. As inbound will go to Tamont Lindsay. Lindsay will bring it up against Parsons, facing some pressure up ahead to Jordan White. Now to the hands of Reed. Back to Handy. Handy around the screen from Miracle. Now driving in, kicking out. Here's a right wing three from Reed. This one no good. Rebound by Malik Parsons. Back comes Northwestern. Milton drives all the way to the paint. Floater good with a right hand. We're tied at 11. Yeah, that's just a yeah. Sorry, Justin. That's just a really tough shot by Milton, and it's exactly what you want. Be aggressive. Take it to the hole. Milton now with three. We're tied at 11. Lindsey picks up his dribble. Back to Handy. Ferdinand Handy with the basketball. Near the top of the Ranger logo, around the screen from Miracle, steps back, fadeaway jumper. Oh, and he hit it. What a shot from Ferdinand Handy. It's 13 to 11. Yeah, that's still one you just tip your cap. Spin move by Parsons at the rim. He was fouled, and I think Ferdinand Handy, that's a big one as he's picked up his second. That'll be the third team foul. Yeah, but see there again, just, just what we said earlier, you know, if, if you're aggressive, you get calls. You know, take it to the hole, make them foul you, or get the easy layup. So Parsons to the free throw line. Rangers are one of two on the night. Parsons win, of course, eight for eight in the win last week against Midwestern State. First free throw attempt is up and good, make it nine for nine now in the season. Boy, that's just pretty, isn't it? I mean, nothing, nothing but net. Just a really nice form by Parsons. Really good shooter. He'll shoot one more as Douglas Stanley will get Kennedy Milton. On the other side, Manhattan Christian Jackson Nicodemus will check in for Ferdinand Handy. Second free throw is good from Parsons. Rangers have tied it up 13 all. A little pressure again in the backcourt. Tamont Lindsay now running point. Now on the near side to Jordan White. White with it, top of the key, will penetrate, lost it, and then it's taken by, let's see who it's actually went out of bounds. They're gonna say it was last touch by Malik Parsons. Great defense though by Malik Parsons, outstanding. Now, the floor for the Rangers, number 11, now Eric Hansick Eric will check Hansen. in. Hansick, of course, the 6'5 senior from Chino Hills, California. He'll get Larry White. Miracle inbound to the baseline. Inbound will go to the hands of Nicodemus. And then a whistle and a holding foul against Hansick as he had a hold of Dylan Reed, who was trying to get to the right wing. It'll be Hansick's first, second team foul. Well, and I don't mind that foul because Reed's just such a good shooter and he's, he wants to get into an offensive rhythm. He's always looking for his shot. So I think you want to be a little more physical with him. So if you got to take one, you take one. Inbound will go to Tamont Lindsay, right wing, 20 to shoot. Lindsay guarded by Parsons around the screen for Miracle. Crossover dribble, steps into a three, no good. Rebound corralled by Eric Hansick. Hansick back the other way, he'll bring it up. Up top, Jason Douglas Stanley, good move, drives all the way in and finished. No, he missed the right-handed layup. Offensive rebound, though, by Hansick. Back to Love, to Parsons, left wing. Douglas Stanley for a left wing three, no good. Chance Love with another offensive rebound to Hansick. His pass deflected, and White had a hand on it. They're going to say, oh, it's last touch, though, by the Rangers, and the Thunder will get it back. Well, the Rangers got another really good look there off the drive from uh, Brian Free. Kind of drawing that defense in, kicking it out, moving the ball around. I mean, you, you really can't complain with the way they're executing their offense. They're just not good enough to go in. So back come the Thunder. It's Dylan Reed. Now into the hands of Nicodemus. Deep left wing. Ooh, good behind the back. Dribble. It's stolen away, though, by Brian Free. Pass up ahead to Parsons. Takes one dribble. Nice step move into the paint. Scores with the right hand. Perfect. And it's 15-13. Yeah. That's, that's the Euro step, right? Yep. And, and, and the basket coming again off of your defense. You, you force the turnover. 
It leads to easy shots. That can get you gut. That should get you going shooting too. Just get in there and make a couple of layoffs, layups, and sometimes those shots start falling. Well, an offensive foul whistled against Cody Miracle as we see Tamont Lindsay and Dylan Reed out. Checking in now for Manhattan Christian will be Alex Sturts, the 6'6 junior from Boone, Iowa. Also into the game, Jamie Junkle, 6'5 junior from Perth, Australia. Also in for Northwestern, his first appearance of the year. The 5'10 junior from Racine, Wisconsin, number 12, Marquise Milton running point. Rangers by two, 12-15 to go here in the first half. Love, left wing, deep to Douglas Stanley, back up top, Milton. Milton around the screen, still with the dribble, bounce pass to Douglas Stanley. 13 to shoot. Douglas Stanley here lobs it underneath to Hansek, pass tipped and stolen away. Yeah, that time good defense by Manhattan Christian College, just sniffed that one out. Sturts for the basketball. Now to Jordan White. White still with the dribble, top of the key. Now to the hands of Sturts, near side. The jungle, jungle around the screen, threw it back underneath to Miracle on the left baseline, under 10 to shoot. Now five to shoot. Now there's a penetration behind the back dribble by Nicodemus, fade away jumper, hits the front of the rim. Not sure how he got that one off. Then Love saved it on the baseline, into the hands of Milton. Back come the Rangers. Douglas Stanley, bounce pass underneath to Parson, reverse layup, no good. Boy, just missed that one, left it short. Rebound to the Thunder. White to Nicodemus around the screen. Now spins back to his right, 20 to shoot. Jordan White, right wing. Boy, Manhattan Christian playing really far away from the basket. Rangers doing a great job yep. defensively. That's now, that ball pressure. Now here's a baseline jumper up and no good for Miracle. Rebound, Eric Hansen. Christian scoreless the last two and a half minutes. Marquise Milton drives in, right-handed jumper, no good. Rebound tipped out, though, by Milton. Back to Parsons. I'll tell you what, I really like what Milton brings off the bench. Parsons' three is no good, and that's going to be a foul on the rebound against Chance Love, and that will be his first fourth-team foul. That will lead us to immediate timeout. 10.39 to go here in the first half from Alva, Northwestern, leading 15-13 over Manhattan Christian. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center wishes the Northwestern Rangers the best of luck in this year's football season. We know injuries sometimes happen, and we want you to remember that Integris Health offers top-notch orthopedic care with Dr. Brett Fry located in Enid. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center provides leading-edge treatment to keep you moving and get you back in the game. For your orthopedic needs, insist on Integris. If your car suffers from body damage, k, &K Body Works is a cure-all for your automotive servicing needs. At our fully equipped shop in Alva, Oklahoma, we have a team of skilled technicians who can do quick and quality repair services. As a full-service auto body shop, we offer professional auto painting and glass installation services for vehicles of all makes and models. Get your free estimate today by visiting us at 301 Flint Street, right here in Alva, Oklahoma. Welcome back inside of Personal Fieldhouse. Northwestern leading at 15-13 on the Community Bank School Board. 10-39 to go here in the first half. Right now again, dominating the glass 15-5, but really kind of just struggled with their shot early on here, Chris. Yeah, and again, it's, it's not an issue of not running their offense or really taking bad shots. It's just... One of those nights that you get in basketball sometimes where the shot's just not going in right now, and so you have to find other, other things that you can do. And the Rangers' defense has been really strong. Manhattan Christian College started the game out hitting five out of their first ten, but are only one out of their last five. And so that Ranger defense has tightened up a little bit, forced them to take worse shots, really forcing them to go outside and extend their offense back, I think, further than they want to. And... You know, if, if your shot's not falling, you know, ratchet it up on defense. Back come the Thunder. Checking in for the Thunder was Jackson Hurla. Sturts with the basketball over to Junkle. Now here's a deep right wing three up and good for Nicodemus as he buries it. Nicodemus is third made from beyond the arc this year. Thunder retake the lead. Yeah, that's just one where, you know, you just live with that, you know, because he just hit a tough shot. There's Marquise Milton for the answer. No good. Rebound was controlled by Junkle and then swatted away from behind by Hansik. Rangers now 0 for 7 from 3. And only shooting 6 out of 18 from the floor. I mean, 33%. So Back 
comes Manhattan Christian Jackson Hurla, the 5'8 freshman from Paxico, Kansas, running point. As now here's another three from the right wing, fading that time was Nicodemus. This one missed. Hansick with a rebound. Hansick gets by Hurla, drives all the way in, jump stop, runs over defender, and we get a blocking foul called on the drive from Hansick. This will go against Garrett Harmison, and Hansick will shoot two. Yeah, and this is this is the other way that you can generate points if your shot's not falling, get to the free throw line and make them. Yeah, Rangers three for four from the charity stripe tonight. Hansick this season, one of two from the foul line against Midwestern State for 50%. Had seven points a year ago in that win against Manhattan Christian. First free throw for Hansick is up and good. Rangers now four of five is back in Cody Miracle as he'll get Garrett Harmison. Hansick will shoot one more. Second free throw for Hansick. Takes a couple of dribbles, eyes it, flies it, and that's no good off the back iron as he goes one of two. Cody Miracle with a rebound, and then had it poked away out of bounds from behind. Thunder, yeah. will, Thunder will keep it. Yeah, just a heads up play by Kennedy Milton. It didn't work out, but you'd like to see the aggressiveness again, you know, trying to force a turnover. I love it. Larry White back in now for Eric Hansick. Inbound will go to Jackson Hurla. Hurla will work against Milton, trapped in the backcourt, pass is deflected go. and stolen. It was deflected by Milton, goes to, or excuse me, yeah, Milton back to Marquise Milton, and then back here in the corner for Douglas Stanley as he buries a corner three. It's now 19-16, his first three of the game. Nicodemus. On the drive, stops, dishes it off. Here's oh. a play at the rim, blocked by the Rangers on the shot from Miracle. Back comes Marquise Milton. Again, great defense. White drives all the way in. His shot was blocked. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Larry White, but they're going to say he was on the baseline. That well, was a good block from Cody Miracle. Yeah, I think that's uh, Metro, not Metro Christian, Manhattan Christian's first uh, block of the game for the Rangers. I think they've already got three. So back come the Thunder. They beat the pressure. Sturts with it at the half line. Now picked up his dribble to Junkle, far side. Junkle, and will fake the handoff to Hurla. Drives baseline, he's cut off. Back out to Hurla, deep right wing, 15 to shoot. Now hands to Miracle, back to Hurla, deep right wing, three off the side of the rim, no good. Offensive rebound, and then turnaround stick back was blocked by Sturts. Now. Junkle on the drive all the way in, high up off the glass, and it's good. Well, and he had to put it up high because Sturch was going for block number two on that possession. So Jamie Junkle with his first two. It's now 19-18, Rangers. 8.35 to go. Douglas Stanley with another three, and he hits again from the right wing. He's hit two tonight. Rangers by four, their largest lead. Yeah, the Rangers after missing the first seven and now hit their last two. Sure makes the offense look a lot better when you're hitting those threes. Nicodemus with the basketball. Now the near side into the hands of Sturtz. Back to Hurla. Hurla with it, left wing, 10 to shoot. To Sturtz, hands to Hurla. Hurla drives all the way in, layup is at the rim. It was blocked, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be goaltending against the Rangers. And it'll be a point for Manhattan Christian and Jackson Hurla. Yeah, but I don't, I don't mind it at all. I mean, you know, again, just keep being aggressive. Keep going after it. Well, and there was nobody in the paint. Absolutely. White had to come over yeah, from no, outside. Yeah, no, no help side defense at all by the Rangers that time. Back comes Brian Free, who's checked in. Rangers by two, 22-20 is Milton with the basketball. Got a Free in the left corner. Free now trapped. Back to Kennedy Milton. Milton will penetrate. Out to Douglas Stanley, and we're going to get a three-second violation before the three, and that'll be a turnover against Northwestern. And that'll lead us to the under eight media timeout. 7.48 to go in the first half. Rangers lead at 22-20 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. 
Are you in need of electrical work done at your home, farm, or business? Northwest Electric in Alva is your local and friendly contractor for all your electrical needs. Daryl, Scott, and the crew are fully qualified electricians with over 65 years of combined electrical experience. From new lighting options and troubleshooting to new construction or remodeling of your home or business, Northwest Electric is here to serve you beyond the call of duty. Northwest Electric is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug Athletics. Northwest Electric, where we don't want all the business, just yours. Welcome back out of the timeout. 7.48 to go here in the first half from Alva. Northwestern on top of Manhattan Christian College, 22-20. Updated shooting totals. Northwestern, 8 of 21 from the four thirty-eight percent 2 of 9 from 3, 22%. 4 of 6 from the foul line, 66%. Manhattan Christian has yet to go to the free throw line. They are 2 for 8 from 3, 25%. And 9 of 21 from 4, 42%. Rangers, though, right now, Chris, uh, kind of a collective effort. No one guy is really just doing a ton. I mean, Douglas Stanley's hit two threes, but everybody else has been able to kind of chip in tonight. Yeah, I mean, you got uh, Douglas Stanley with six, and you got uh, Larry White and Malik Parsons both with four, and then after that you got Kennedy Milton hit the one three, and then you got uh, Butters and Loves with a basket apiece for two points, and Hansick uh, with the free throw. So, yeah, they're they're definitely spreading the ball around, and, but, but you just kind of get the feeling that – you know, somebody for the Rangers is going to take over this ball game scoring-wise, and they're going to go on a real run. Jackson Hurla will bring it up out of the timeout. Here comes the trap, gets the pass off. It's tipped in the back. Now taken by Douglas Stanley. Drives all go. the way in and scores at the rim with a layup. He's yeah. now got eight. It's 24-20. Again, points off turnovers. Rangers being very aggressive on that, on that trap. There you go. There's Sturts, and the ball's on the floor. It's taken by Manhattan Christian as it went all the way to the backcourt. Now they go quickly up ahead to Junkle. Junkle drives on Milton, runs the defender over, and a blocking foul called against Kennedy Milton. That will be his first fourth team foul. Yeah, good idea there by Milton, but just didn't get his feet set in time. I tell you what, I really like this speeding up the game for Northwestern. You know, going to the uh, going to the the press and the trap, you know, and 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 again forcing turnovers. Well, especially with Ferdinand Handy and Tamont Lindsay both on the bench. Right. Inbound will go to Nicodemus, far side in front of the scores table. We'll go around the screen for Miracle. Nicodemus still with a basketball, 13 to shoot, up top to Sturts, right wing to Hurla. Up top now to Junkle, five to shoot, four to shoot. Nicodemus pump fakes, will penetrate, had it knocked away go. by Douglas Stanley. Larry White takes it, now White had it poked away, re got it back, and then threw it to Butters, who wasn't ready for it. Hit him right off the back of his hand, Brian Free picks it up. Out to Milton, drives baseline underneath on the baseline. Now steps into it with the right hand and floater nice. hits the rim and falls in. Nice finish from Milton. Yeah, He's very, got five. yeah, nicely done. Nice touch around the rim. Really well done. Rangers by six, 26 20. Junkle with it, right wing. Up top, Nicodemus off the screen, fires for three and hits again. And Blake's got a pretty shot as he hits his second three. It's now a three-point game, and Coach Strom wants a timeout. But impressive shooting so far for Nicodemus. Yeah, I mean, he's he's about the only guy on their team that's uh, that's really done much. He's now two out of three from three, but everybody else has combined to go, you know, whatever that would be. Um, let's see, one for four, two for six. So everybody else has gone two for seven. But uh, he, he's definitely got the hot hand tonight for uh, Manhattan Christian College. Manhattan Christian took a timeout just to 30, so we'll keep it here. In 621 to go here in the first quarter, Northwestern on top, 26-23. We do want to remind everybody our next broadcast will be on Saturday as this same Ranger basketball team will welcome in the Aggies of Cameron University. Been a while since Northwestern has taken on Cameron. Again, another opponent out of the Lone Star. Looking forward to that broadcast. As, uh, I'll have a very special guest color commentator. I will not reveal who yet, but uh, uh -huh. looking, looking forward to that one on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I sat right here and <laughs> heard that whole thing go down. <laughs> hey, here, here's another interesting uh, stat for uh, the Northwestern Rangers tonight. Outscoring uh, Manhattan Christian College 16-10 to 10 in the paint. Again, Northwestern just not getting much, you know, from three. You know, Douglas Stanley's gone two for three. Nobody else has made a three-pointer for the Rangers tonight, but – they're getting inside and they're getting shots and, and they've scored 16 out of their 26 uh, from inside the paint. You can keep that up. That can, uh, that can mean good things for you. 
Rangers with the basketball leading by three as we see Dylan Reed and Tamont Lindsay both check back in. Boy, a little bit switch here. We thought we might see this. Kind of looks like a little bit of a 1-3-1 one, one defense for Manhattan Christian. As Brian Free with the basketball. Bounce pass to Milton. Milton to Parsons. Now to Larry White drives baseline and then boy dribbled that one off of his leg. And that'll be a turnover against the Rangers, number seven. Yeah, the, the turnovers have been another issue for the Rangers side. But again, you really like the ball movement. I mean, they had it set up the way that they wanted to because of the passing and just moving the ball around. It just, you know, didn't work out with the turnover. That was a good timeout call by Coach Strom, changing defenses there. We thought we might see the 1-3-1, and then the Rangers nearly come up with a steal, and they do. Milton quickly up ahead to Parsons, drives all the way in for the two-handed slam for Malik Parsons, and the Rangers lead it 28-23. Yeah, another, I think that's the sixth point the Rangers have off turnovers tonight that have just come from pressuring the ball and forcing turnovers, getting to the basket for easy shots in transition. Junkle, near side to Tamont Lindsay, pulls up with a left-handed jumper, no good, but he was fouled by Larry White on the shot. So White will pick up his first fifth team foul. Well, I guess. It didn't seem like there was just a whole lot of contact there. So Tamont Lindsay will head to the free throw line. First trip tonight for the Thunder. Lindsay this season, a very good free throw shooter, 20 of 27, 74%. At 10 points against the Rangers a year ago is the first free throw up and no good off the back iron. And once again, the good no jinx works. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing, folks. Lindsay will shoot one more. Rangers, second free throw is good from Tamon Lindsay. It's one of two. Back to a four point lead for Northwestern. 5.20 to go here in the first half from Alba, 28 24. And Atten Christian staying with that defensive look as Parsons into the paint. Cross court pass to Free. Fires for three. Good nice. for Brian Free. Yeah, perfectly done. All right, you got the dribble drive from Parsons, kicking out to the open man for the open three. And that's money. Junkle drives, kicks it out in the corner. It's stolen away, though, by Brian Free. Played the passing lane that time behind the back dribble. Good move as it gets by Junkle. Free will dribble near the right wing, back to Parsons near side, near the Northwestern logo. Now Parsons into the paint. Out to Larry White, he'll shoot for three, no good, as it was too strong. Rebound on the backside by Nicodemus. Up ahead to Tamont Lindsay, back to Nicodemus. Now Dylan Reed stops at the right elbow, turns and shoots, no good off the back iron. Offensive rebound was nearly secured by Manhattan Christian, but taken by Milton. Up to Parsons. Parsons, and then he threw it away over the near side as Free was coming towards the top of the key, but Expected free to be more towards the right of the top of the key, and that one actually came right over here to our position. But we were there for the stop. We were eighth turnover of the game against the Rangers. 31-24 Northwestern, largest lead at seven as Jordan White is checked back in. Also back in Ferdinand Handy. As Tamont Lindsay penetrates and then fouled from behind, and boy, I thought he just kind of got his feet caught up. Know who they're going to whistle that on it. It's going to be on Larry White, and now that's his second. He'll have to sit. Chance Love back in, 16 foul. One more will put the Thunder in the bonus. Dylan Reed inbound, throw it out high to White. Deep right wing now is White. To Handy, right wing in front of the Ranger bench, 15 to shoot. Ferdinand Handy, guarded by Milton, up top to White, penetrates. Right-handed floater, no good. Rebound tipped out by Bryant, taken by Free. Now up ahead to Milton and through his hands. Milton runs it down, though, as he got it back. Now at the left elbow, back to Free. Left wing for three, no good. Chance love for the offensive rebound. Stick back is good with the left hand. It's 33-24. Yeah, that's what you get. There's a lot of points to be had off offensive rebounds and putbacks, and we used to call them junk points. Antoine Jameson, I don't know if you remember him in the NBA, made a living for a long time off that. Jordan White to Ferdinand Handy. He'll take the three and hits from the left wing. Fourth made three of the night, and the Thunder back within six. It's 33-27. But that's really become just about all their offense is just shooting up threes. Milton in. Good, strong move with the right hand. He missed the shot. Butters tipped the rebound out to Parsons. Second chance opportunity here for Northwestern. It's their ninth offensive rebound as Parsons all the way in. Missed the layup. Stick back is good as he caught it midair. It's 35-27. That's the Rangers' ninth offensive rebound. Only two given up for Manhattan Christian. It's Jordan White for the basketball. Hands to Reed up top to Handy. Handy will penetrate all the way by Milton. Layup too strong, no good. Chance Love with the rebound. Love will now bring it up quickly up. Ahead to Parsons. Threw it too far out in front of him. 
And that'll be a turnover, leading us to the under four media timeout. 2.15 to go here in the first half. Northwestern leading at 35-27 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Your hometown, Alva Walmart, is proud to support Northwestern Oklahoma State University Athletics. Everyday low price is the cornerstone of our strategy, and our price focus has never been stronger. Today's customer seeks the convenience of one-stop shopping that we offer, from grocery and entertainment to sporting goods and crafts. We provide the deep assortment that our customers appreciate, whether they're shopping online at walmart.com, through one of our mobile apps, or shopping in our store. The Alva Walmart likes to wish the best of luck to all Ranger and Lady Ranger teams this season. Maybe you didn't know, but people with the flu can spread it up to six feet away, or that the flu can make your chronic conditions worse, or that experts say anyone who lives or works with children should be vaccinated. Maybe you didn't know all the stuff your local pharmacy, Holder Drug, knew the whole time. Stop in and make sure you've been vaccinated this winter as Holder Drug is giving flu and pneumonia shots in the pharmacy. Most insurance coverage will cover your shot. So stop in and see Holder Drug in business for your health since 1952. 2.50 to play here in the first half as we welcome you back to Percival Fieldhouse. 35-27 Northwestern leading Manhattan Christian on the Community Bank School Board. Will be Thunder basketball to the timeout. Yeah, you know, you look at the stats, really about the only thing you really have to complain about from a Northwestern perspective, I guess two things. One, you know, you're not really, you're still struggling to hit threes, but you are shooting 46.7% from the floor now. That'll certainly work. And then the turnovers. But, you know, outside of that, Northwestern's just dominating this game in every single facet, really. Jordan White will inbound. We'll go to Tamont Lindsay. Lindsay will bring it up. Right up middle of the court. In between the two circles now. Hands to Handy. All the way to the right wing. Hands to White. Back up top to Harmison. Now up top to Handy. Boy, he shuffled his feet. Almost got away with the travel there. Andy with the basketball around the screen, near right wing, under 10 to shoot. Drives all the way in, and he's bumped and fouled. And Hansik's just picked up his second. Now that's the 17 foul. The Thunder will be in the bonus the last 226. Yeah, it looked to me like he just got a little bit out of control there. I'm not sure exactly what the foul was. So Hansik's second to the free throw line is Ferdinand Handy. Very good foul shooter, 11 of 13, 85% on the season. This will be attempts three and four for the Thunder. First free throw up. No good on the one and one. Rangers with a rebound. It was Chance Love. Now up to Parsons. Thought about the three drives. Baseline lost it. Got it back. Now underneath to Brian Free. Good crossover move. Free into the paint. Dishes it off to Chance uh -huh. Love. Layup good at the rim. What a pass from Brian yeah, Free. Yeah, absolutely. He's just so alert. He sees the floor so well. And Goodness gracious, there's just no defense against that. Chance Love now with six Rangers by 10 as White drives all the way in and finishes at the rim with the right hand, and Coach Harmon wants a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout. 158 to go here in the first half. Rangers lead at 37-29. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can be easily corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-alvavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. Alva Vision Clinic proudly supports Ranger and Goldbug activities. Welcome back inside Bursal Fieldhouse, just a 30-second timeout. Rangers lead it by eight, 158 to go here in the first half. Rangers just slowly pulling away. You can just kind of feel it. Free to Chance Love to Milton. Milton drives baseline underneath, kicks it out in the corner to Parsons. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Parsons will penetrate all the way around. Handy and scores at the, with the left hand at the rim. It's 39-29. Rangers just getting whatever they want inside, it seems like. You know, these, these Manhattan Christian players just don't have the quickness to stay in front of these uh, Northwestern ball handlers. Tamont Lindsay with the basketball now. Penetrates by Parsons, kicks it out. Reed, right corner three, pinball's out, no good. Offensive rebound, though, secured by Harmison. Went back up, but traveled before that, and that'll be a turnover, well, turnover number eight. Yeah, and that's the right call, but, you know, before that, there was definitely a shove in the back on Brian Free that enabled him to be in position to get that rebound, so maybe that travel called a little bit of a makeup there. Douglas Stanley stops at the foul line, back to Chance Love near side, cross court to Free, 20 to shoot, Free. 
Cross court to Parsons, good to Douglas Stanley, right wing three, good. As he stepped right into it, buried it. His third three-pointer tonight, and the lead is 13. Yeah, Douglas Stanley, the, the transfer from Manhattan Christian College, right? Coming out and playing well against his old team. Yep, look it up. Jordan White had it poked away. It'll stay with Manhattan Christian. My apologies, it's a wrong Manhattan College. <laughs> hey, listen, if we can't make mistakes now and then, what are we? Tamon Lindsay with the basketball and it's gonna be whistled for a traveling call. It's just had nowhere to go with it. Here I was thinking that I had quite the story here as Douglas <laughs> Stanley was playing well against his old team and it's another Manhattan College. Oh, the old Jaspers. As free for a deep three. Oh, wow. and he hit it, what a shot from Brian Free. He is now 16, Brian Free with six. Yeah, and the Rangers starting to heat up from three too, aren't they? Certainly are. Rangers now have hit their fifth from beyond the arc. About two seconds, the difference between shot clock and game clock. There's now 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Lindsay with a stationary dribble out in front of the scores table. That's actually Ferdinand, under 10 to shoot. Ferdinand, left wing, good closeout by Love. To White, he'll fire for three, no good off the back iron. Rebound taken by Parsons in a terrific play, turned and threw it right off Lindsay. Rangers will keep it. Yeah, that's just a heads up play by your senior. Nice job, nice awareness there by Parsons. 3.8 seconds, let's see what you can get here. Back come the Rangers into free. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Free pulls up for three, it's good if it goes. No good off the side of the rim. And that is how the first half will come to a close. We played 20 minutes on the Community Bank scoreboard. Northwestern 45, and Manhattan Christian College 29. We will take a timeout, come back. When we come back to Personal Fieldhouse, we'll begin the McDermott Insurance Halftime Show. You're listening to Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hi, it's Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we let our reputation speak for itself. Here's what the family of one of our residents had to say about their experience. The love and patience projected by the administration and staff is greatly appreciated by our family. The difference between a job and ministry is evident at Beatles Nursing Home. If you're looking for comprehensive health care in a Christian environment, look no further than Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands including Chevy, Buick, and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Welcome back as we begin the McDermott Insurance Halftime Show here on the Rangers Sports Network, Classic Hits 105.7.
45-29, your score here at halftime. Northwestern on top of Manhattan Christian College. As we begin the Madermott Insurance Halftime Show, let's take a look at your halftime numbers. They look like this. We'll start with the visitors, Manhattan Christian College. In the first half, the Thunder go 12 of 29 from the floor, 41%. 4 of 12 from 3, 33%. And just 1 of 3 from the foul line for 33%. Led in the first half by Ferdinand Handy for 7, had 7 points, 5 from Dylan Reed. Four from Garrett Harmison, Jackson Nicodemus with six. One from Tamont Lindsay, two from Jordan White, two from Jamie Junkle, and two from Jackson Hurla. Thunder in the first half had 11 total rebounds, three offensive, eight defensive. Leading rebound in the first half was Garrett Harmison with two. Manette Christian with six assists and nine turnovers. Tamont Lindsay led the way with two assists in the first half. Thunder came up with just two steals in the first half. One for Alex Sturtz and one for Tamont Lindsay. They did have one block in the first half belonging to Cody Miracle. On the other side for the Rangers, Northwestern really heated up after a tough start offensively from the field. They end up finishing the first half 18 of 35, 51%. Five of 15 from three, 33%. And four of six from the foul line, 66%. Two players in double figures in the first half for Northwestern. Douglas Stanley leads the way with 11. Malik Parsons with 10, six from Brian Free. Kennedy Milton with five, six from Chance Love, two from Cheval Butters, and one from Eric Hansick as he went one of two from the foul line. Rangers dominating the glass, plus 13 right now. Nine offensive rebounds, 15 defensive, 24 total. Chance Love leading the way and played just under nine minutes the first half, picked up six points and leads the team with five rebounds in the first half. Rangers eight assists to eight turnovers. Malik Parson leading the way in the first half with five assists for Northwestern. Rangers did come up with six steals in the first half. It's again, Northwestern forcing force 10 in game one against Midwestern State already with six here at halftime. Douglas Stanley led in the first half with two. Rangers did have three blocks in the first half, two from Cheval Butters, one from Kennedy Milton. Largest lead, well, right here at halftime. Rangers, again, led by as many as 16. Largest lead for the Manhattan Christian College Thunder in the first half was four. Their largest scoring run was a 5-0 run. Northwestern with an 8-0 run. We had six lead changes. Game was tied four times. Northwestern led for 14 minutes and three seconds the first half. Thunder led it for three minutes and 30 seconds of the first half. Points off turnovers. Northwestern 17-5 leading Manhattan Christian College. They also led in the paint 26-12. Second chance points belonged to the Rangers 8-4. They also led in the fast break points 13-0 and bench points 18-10 as it all adds up to a 45-29 halftime lead for Northwestern over Manhattan Christian. We'll take another timeout, come back, have more of the McDermott Insurance Halftime Show next as we get our thoughts from Chris Ruwalt. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. At e j Financial, we know market volatility and inflation are top concerns in this economic climate. This is Whitney Gum, financial advisor and tax director at e j And if you're tired of the stress of market ups and downs, but still unsatisfied with low CD rates, give us a call at 580-327-2552 to discuss our fixed rate investment options with rates up to 3.45%. Call us for your complimentary review today. Fixed income securities are subject to various risks, particularly the increased risk of the loss of principal during the periods of rising interest rates. Whitney Gum is a registered representative offering securities and advisory services through the United Planners Financial Services, member FINRA, SIPC. e j Financial and United Planners are not affiliated. United Planners does not offer tax advice. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alba with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. Northwestern football is here, and just like the Rangers, Bank Central is here to help you make your goals. We have several consumer loans available to best fit you. Our knowledgeable loan officers are here and ready to assist you. All loans are subject to credit and underwriting. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. Head to the end zone with Bank Central, located at 604 Flint Street, or call 580-327-1122. That's 580-327-1122. Member FDIC. 
Before you hit the road this winter to follow the Rangers and Goldbugs during basketball season, be sure to stop at KNS Tire, your Goodyear tire dealer right here in Alva. KNS Tire has a staff with more than 40 years of experience in the tire and service industry. KNS Tire is here to make sure you get to the game safe and sound. So let KNS Tire get you to the game safely this winter by stopping into 2590 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Farmers are the backbone of our country, especially right here in Western Oklahoma. And we've got our farmers' backs at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. We are here to serve all needs to our farmers and ranchers with livestock loans, rural loans, real estate loans, operating loans, and of course, agribusiness loans. Serving our farmers since 1916 at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. Call or come by today and speak to one of our loan officers in Alva, Anadarko, Clinton, Elk City, Guymon, Tuttle, and Woodward. Welcome back as we continue the McDermott Insurance Halftime Show. Northwestern leading Manhattan Christian 45-29. And Chris, we want to give a shout out to, we've got a listener out there, our good friend uh, Vinay Patel out there listening to us. Yeah, so if if you want to uh, know who's listening, just make a mistake because then uh, everybody <laughs> everybody will text you. And uh, no, we uh, appreciate Coach Patel and, and certainly miss him greatly and, and wish uh, him and the Angelo State Rams. There you go. See? <laughs> all the all the luck is is uh, they're they're starting their season, so they certainly are. Uh, Chris, let's talk about the first half. Uh, we ran through kind of the numbers, and we know we had our kind of keys to the game of what Northwestern had to do. And and really, when you look at those keys, Northwestern has done it. Yeah, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, when you look at you know the fact, you know, we talked about that uh, Northwestern needed to pressure the ball, really force uh, Manhattan Christian into some bad shots, force them into turnovers, nine first half turnovers. Uh, by uh, by Manhattan Christian, um, you know, not not a ton of steals for Northwestern, but uh, Douglas Stanley leading with two, and uh, Milton's got one, and and Parsons and Butters, I'm sorry, Free and, and Parsons both have a steal apiece along with Milton. So you know, you, I, I think I think you would definitely put a check mark next to that one. Um, you know, they you know Manhattan really passes the ball pretty well. I mean, you know, I, there haven't been a whole lot of you know, jumping the lanes and, and, and disrupting things that way as much as it's just been on-ball pressure for for the Rangers. And, then I, and, and, and as far as playing hard, I, I, think, I think we've seen that. I mean, out-rebounding uh, Manhattan Christian 24-11, to 11, including nine offensive rebounds, only giving up the three. You know, the bench points, Northwestern to 18-10. I mean, you know, virtually every single statistic um, has gone the Rangers' way. Points off turnover, 17 for Northwestern, only five for... Uh, Manhattan Christian uh, fast break points 13 for Northwestern zero for Manhattan Christian so you know and 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 now the scoreboard kind of reflects it you go into halftime with a 16 point lead but you know the majority of that first half it was quite a bit tighter than that for sure but you know for Northwestern they started hitting their shots a little bit better now now they're shooting up to 51.4 percent for the game so um, that's certainly not the way they started <laughs> by, no, it, no, by it any wasn't. means and and you know 33.3 percent from three and that's not bad. You know, you'd like to see that probably closer to 40%, but but you can certainly live with with uh, with hitting one out of every three threes. Well, yeah, and really the guy that got him going in that uh, category was Jason Douglas Stanley. Hit some big shots in the first half, and it's almost like the Rangers, after he hit those couple threes, got going. Not only the shots from beyond the arc that kind of fell for everybody else, but the Rangers really just picked up the intensity offensively. They've been so aggressive. They've been able to get almost any shot that they want at the rim, and we've missed a couple of layups. This game could be a lot worse, but I, but I love the intensity that Northwestern has come out here in the first half with against an, an opponent that you should be uh, doing this against. Yeah, and, and, and we talked about it in the pregame show that really the intensity needed to be there from the opening jump to the final buzzer, and at least in the first half, that's certainly what we saw. You know, Northwestern came out. They were really executing their offense well. Ball just wasn't going in the basket. But they didn't let – they didn't hang their heads about it right. They they continued to play hard defense, forced some turnovers, got some easy shots going the other way on, on, some, on some fast breaks, and really just kind of, you know, allowed their defense to carry them through probably about the first, what, 15 minutes of that first sure. half until the shots finally started hitting. Yeah, and one of the things that uh, you know, we had had from the scouting report Charmin is wanting to, you know, take away the baseline, and Northwestern really did that. I can't think of too many times where Manhattan Christian was given the baseline or a clean path to the rim on the baseline. They did get into the paint a couple of times, and they did finish well, 
Uh, but Northwestern, that was one of the things they wanted to take away, and they really took away uh, that in the first half. Well, and, and Manhattan Christian, and you can tell they're a well-coached team. I mean, you know, certainly their, their track record shows that. Their previous success, you know, last year obviously shows that. And so, you know, they're, they're, they're going to come in and they're going to execute. And, and, and there were some times where you had some defensive breakdowns by the Northwestern Rangers. Sometimes it was just a matter of maybe playing a pass a little too aggressively and then you get out of position or you go for a steal and you get out of position that way. So, so there were moments like that by Northwestern. But, but I think any coach would tell you you would, you, you would rather have mistakes being made because you're being aggressive and because of your intensity than the other way around. You, you'd certainly rather it be as a result of aggression and, and intensity as opposed to, say, like laziness sure. or you know, your, your, your mind's just not where, where, where it's supposed to be. But again, we are here at halftime, Northwestern leading Manhattan Christian. We will take a final timeout as we put a close to the McDermott Insurance Halftime Show. When we come back, second half action between Northwestern and Manhattan Christian College here on the Ranger Sports Network. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Jessica, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center wishes the Northwestern Rangers the best of luck in this year's football season. We know injuries sometimes happen, and we want you to remember that Integris Health offers top-notch orthopedic care with Dr. Brett Fry located in Enid. Integris Bass Baptist Health Center provides leading edge treatment to keep you moving and get you back in the game. For your orthopedic needs, insist on Integris. Are you looking for that new addition to your home for the fall season? Your friends at G&G Home Furnishings have several new items to browse through for your home, room, or office. Right now, come in and check out their fall sale with Ashley Products Markdown, Lazy Boy Recliners on sale, and all appliances and mattresses on sale as well. You can see a lot of their great products by visiting them online at gnghomefurnishings.com or come by and see them in person at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alba. Welcome back inside of Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Goodwill alongside Chris Ruwalt, your Ranger basketball crew here tonight. It will be Manhattan Christian basketball to start the second half as we are underway. Thunder will be moving left to right across the radio down Northwestern right to left as Jordan White will start with it. Oh, nice bounce pass, and it's, that's a good back cut, but Ferdinand Handy blew the layup inside. Rebound tipped out to Reed. Now to Lindsay, left wing three, no good. It's stuck on the back iron, Larry White with a rebound. A good opening possession, they got what they wanted. Just couldn't make the shot on the baseline. Yeah, yeah, they did. I mean, it was a well-drawn-up play. You'll see if they try to go back to it again. Brian Free off a screen, buries the three from the right wing, and it's 48-29. Brian Free now with nine. Well, we said it earlier. I mean, you know, when you start hitting your threes, it, it makes everything better offensively. Back come the Thunder. Nyland Reed will hand off to Ferdinand Handy. Nice behind the back dribble, then had his pocket pick. Ball's on the floor, now still on the floor near the scores table. Saved by Manhattan Christian. Tame out Lindsay, up ahead to Handy, lets the two defenders fly by. And then a whistle and a foul called. As that was Milton and Butters, both just flew right by him. Not sure what the call is. Well, well they whistled a foul against Northwestern. Yeah, so there was Butters. some contact. Yeah, I guess it was Butters that got him, but, but there was some contact. Inbound will go to Handy, near side. Cross court pass to White, near the NCAA logo. Oh, nice behind the back dribble. And then reaching in is Malik Parsons. That'll be his first, now second team foul against the Rangers here in the second half. You know, as aggressively as the Rangers have been playing defensively, it's kind of remarkable that they don't have more people in foul trouble because they've really been getting after it. No, I agree. And again, that was the issue against Midwestern State is getting into foul trouble. Lindsay with a wild shot on the drive. It was no good. Rebound was tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Harmison. Rangers will get it back. And at Christian 0 for 2 to start here in the second half. Every time they, every time the Thunder tries to take the ball inside like that, you've got about two Rangers that are there ready to at least uh, jump up, make the shot difficult. It's really made it hard on the Thunder. Butters with it, top of the key. Boy, 
Now back to Butters, nice. cuts into the paint and scores with the right hand nice. off the glass. Terrific pass by Larry White. Yeah. Butters with four. No look pass, too. Almost a touch pass. Rangers by 21 now. 18 20 to go here in the second half. Basketball. Around the screen now, but. Between the legs, dribble, got it back as it was poked away. Rangers really intense intensity here on defensively. Ferdinand with the three, no good. Butters had the rebound tipped out of his hands to Dylan Reed, the right-handed floater in the paint's good. Back come the Rangers quickly, up ahead to Milton. Kennedy Milton, hands to Butters, attacks the rim, layup good, and it's 52-31. Before that last bucket, bucket by Reed, I was just thinking about the fact how he's their top scorer, and until that shot, he was only two out of seven from the floor for five points. Rangers doing a good job on him tonight. Jordan White hands to Reed. Reed off the screen, buries the right wing three. And course, he's now got double figures with 10. Yeah, of course, as soon as you say that, he rattles off five straight. So nice looking shot from Dylan Reed. As Reed has his second made three pointer, it's 52 34. Milton to Butters, top of the key. They'll give that three to Butters and no good off the back iron. Larry White had the offensive rebound. Back to Butters, out to Milton. Milton penetrates, kicks to Free. Free dribbled that one off his foot, hands to Milton left wing, under 10 to shoot. Milton drives baseline underneath, hands it off to Parsons, goes up, missed the in-close shot, got his own offensive rebound, goes nice. back up and scores. Count the basket and he's fouled from Malik Parsons. Yep, that's just hard work and staying after, just outworking him. Malik Parsons just outworked the Thunder there. Chance Love back in. For Cheval Butters in a new five in for Manhattan Christian. It will be Sturtz, Junkle, Lazelle Evans, his first appearance. Back in Nicodemus. And I believe Cody Miracle. So Parsons to the free throw line. He's two for two tonight. Leads the Rangers in scoring with 12. Chance to make it 13 here. And he does as he cashes in on the foul shot. It's 54-34. 55-34, my apologies. So, Nicodemus with the basketball, bodied up by Milton, and it's an offensive foul. Nicodemus trying to create some space. That'll be the second team foul. That'll be his first. Yeah, again, Kennedy Milton with just great defense, forcing another turnover, this time off the offensive foul. It's now 10, I think, for uh, the Thunder. Chance Love will end down to the far side in front of the Ranger bench. Inbound will go to Parsons. Will change defensively here. Parsons out to Milton, left wing. Out to Free, open left corner three. Good again as Brian Free knocks down another one. He's in double figures with 12. The lead is 24. Yeah, he's now four out of six from three. Now Lizell Evans and a whistle and a bump foul that time from Milton. But that's why you just keep executing your offense. You don't press. You don't try to do too much, you know, when the shots aren't falling. You just keep executing because you're getting good looks, and these guys are too good as shooters to struggle too long. Nicodemus will go inbound to Evans. Evans to Nicodemus. Now to the hands of Junkle. Junkle on the drive, stops the left elbow, had it knocked away. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Manhattan Christian. Nice play there as they got it back. Evans, then he lost it. Ball's on the floor again, tipped around, taken back by Manhattan Christian again. Rangers just coming in waves right now. And there it's going to force a shot clock violation. It's Outstanding. Really, the ball never changed possessions. It was tipped around so much. Yeah. And, and the Rangers and, get it back. And, and it was Free and Milton and Parsons especially. Everybody played well on that possession, obviously. But those three especially just attack, attack, attack defensively. You love to see it. Rangers with the basketball, cross-court pass to Brian Free. Free, oh nice, dribble in between the legs. Good ball moving to Parsons' right corner. Parsons will drive baseline, he's cut off by Evans. Now into Larry White, back to Free. Loads up, left wing three, no good, left it short. Got his own offensive rebound. Free on the baseline, gets by Evans as he's bumped and fouled. That'll be Lizelle Evans' first, the 6'1 freshman from Kansas City. Again, just, just hard work. I mean, you know, the Rangers are a better team than the Thunder. We talked about that in the pregame show, but they're also working harder than the Thunder right now. They certainly are. Is that will lead us to immediate timeout? 15.46 to go first half. Northwestern, or excuse me, second half. Rangers lead the Thunder 58-34 in the Community Bank School Board. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network.
If your car suffers from body damage, k k Body Works is a cure-all for your automotive servicing needs. At our fully equipped shop in Alva, Oklahoma, we have a team of skilled technicians who can do quick and quality repair services. As a full-service auto body shop, we offer professional auto painting and glass installation services for vehicles of all makes and models. Get your free estimate today by visiting us at 301 Flint Street, right here in Alva, Oklahoma. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. 15.46 to play here in the second half. Northwestern leading Manhattan Christian, 58-34. As we welcome you back to Percival Fieldhouse, Dustin Goodwin alongside Chris Ruwalt, your Ranger basketball crew here tonight. Rangers shooting 62.5% as there's a turnover there. Yeah, Parsons. Malik, uh, Parsons. Not a good pass that time. Brian Free, free zigged when he thought he was going to zag. But anyway, Rangers starting off second half shooting 62.5%. Just blistering shooting right now by the Rangers. Douglas Stanley will get Kennedy Milton as Lizelle Evans will bring it up. High dribble there, and, and boy, he thought he traveled there. They're going to say he did not. Nicodemus near the Northwestern logo. Up top to Junkle. Out of Nicodemus. Oh, pump fakes. Good move there to get away from the defender. Good recovery, though. Nicodemus off the screen. Turns. They turn and hand it to him. He missed the three. Evans runs down the rebound. Saved it into Junkle. Now on the... Now on the baseline is Miracle. He had it poked away by Larry White. Thunder will keep it with 17 to shoot as Eric Hansick will check in now for Larry White. Sturts will inbound on the baseline. Throw it out to Junkle near the left wing. Junkle penetrates, stops at the foul line. Back out Nicodemus. Under 10 to shoot. Nicodemus straight away. He'll fire a deep three. and That's a brick. Did not hit the rim. Brian Free with a two-on-one break. Free drives all the way and lobbed to Hansik. Layup go. good. Nice pass at the rim and a good finish from Hansik in 60-34. Back comes Junkle for a deep three. No good. Douglas Stanley with a rebound. His first to Hansik right wing. Fakes a pass. Will penetrate all the way in left hand and layup. Left it short. No good. Junkle with a rebound. Nicodemus now with it left wing near the NCAA logo. Around the screen from Sturks. Now on the near side to Evans. Evans crossover dribble. Kicked it out. Nicodemus, left wing three. No good. Rebound, tipped out of bounds. Last touch by, I believe, Douglas Stanley. It will stay with Manhattan Christian. I mean, right now for Northwestern, they are beating the Thunder to every single loose ball. They're beating them to every single rebound. Just absolutely imposing their will on the Thunder. Marquise Milton has checked in for Brian Free. <laughs> Nicodemus thought about a deep three. They go to Junkle. He'll trigger a three. Good as Junkle hits it. His first of the game at 60-37. Well, if you keep firing them up, uh, uh, you keep firing them up. Eventually, they'll go in. The Thunder now five out of 19 from three. As Parsons drives all the way in, left the dunk short, but he was fouled. So Malik Parsons will head to the free throw line to shoot two more. By the way, Dustin, on uh, the Thunder's three-point shooting, remember they started off this game. Five out of 10, they hit five out of the first 10 threes. Now they're six out of 20. So again, I'm not much of a math person, but that sounds like about one for their last 14. First free throw for Parsons. Up no, and that's not one for the last one for the last 10. There you go. Told you I'm not a math person. So Parsons misses his first free throw of the season. He's now 11 of 12. He will shoot one more. Three for four tonight, chance to make it four for five. Second foul shot is good from Parsons. 61-37, 14 minutes to go here in the second half. Back comes the Thunder. Nicodemus with the basketball. Spin move to get away from Parsons. Inside the right wing now, turns, and just threw that really to nobody. Hansen come up with a steal. Now to Douglas Stanley, right wing stepped into a three. No good off the backboard is that one. Again, hit off the glass and spun off. Ever Evans with a rebound, lob pass underneath to Miracle. Miracle reverse layup is good. Nice finish for Cody Miracle, his first two of the game. 61-39. 
Thunder now trying to play full court man to man with uh, Northwestern. Both times down the floor, Northwestern's broken it pretty easily. Now Hansick right wing to Marquise Milton. Milton now will drive baseline underneath. Lob pass out to Parsons, drives all the way in, had it poked away from behind, right in the hands of Eric Hansick, steps through the defender and scores off the glass. It's yeah, nicely 39. done, gave a nice little pump fake, got the defender in the air, and then as you called it, Dustin, just stepped through it for the easy layup. Evans crossover dribble and reaching in and fouling is Marquise Milton. That'll be his first fourth team foul as we see Kennedy Milton back in. He'll get Malik Parsons. Rangers shooting 53%, Manhattan Christian 39%. Now the near side Sturts. He'll hand a Junkle deep right wing. Junkle on the drive, kicked it out, Nicodemus. Oh, had his pocket pick. Douglas Stanley now on a breakaway. Douglas Stanley drives all the way in, layup good at the rim, and it's 65-39. Uh, I, think, I think Douglas Stanley's looking for something a little more emphatic there, but then decided to just go with the layup. Junkle with a three, no good off the front of the rim. Kennedy Milton with a rebound, his second. Out of Marquise Milton. Milton into the paint, out to Douglas Stanley. Fires for three, good again for Douglas Stanley as he's hit his fourth from beyond the arc. He's got 16. Yeah, that's that's one of those, if you make it, it's great, but if you don't make it, you get a look from your coach. And boy, Stanley just playing with so much confidence tonight, isn't he? Just steps into it, has the open look, takes the shot, and, and just nails it. Now Junkle with the basketball, had his pocket pick, but right in the hands, though, of Miracle for Nicodemus. To Evans, Evans for three, and he hits. Lazelle Evans' first basket of the game at 68-42. Yeah, good defense, too, by Milton, who closed out, but Evans just made the shot. Kennedy Milton to Marquise Milton. Pump fakes, drives out to Douglas Stanley. Why not one more? Got it again as he hits another one, his fifth of the night. Douglas Stanley feeling it. He's got 19. Yeah, how about 19 points off the bench, right? Five out of seven for three. Seven out of 10 from the floor. Evans drives in, shot blocked by Chance Love. Marquise Milton with a rebound. Up ahead to Kennedy Milton. He'll stop, right wing for three, no good. And we get a whistle and a foul on the rebound. This coming against Manhattan Christian. I believe that will be on Junkle at will. That's his second well, 15 Junkle, foul. Yeah, Junkle got caught that time, kind of pushing, uh, pushing out of the way. And Referee was there to call at that time. That'll lead us to immediate timeout. 11.28 to go here in the second half. Northwestern leading 71-42 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Are you in need of electrical work done at your home, farm, or business? Northwest Electric in Alva is your local and friendly contractor for all your electrical needs. Daryl, Scott, and the crew are fully qualified electricians with over 65 years of combined electrical experience. From new lighting options and troubleshooting to new construction or remodeling of your home or business, Northwest Electric is here to serve you beyond the call of duty. Northwest Electric is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug Athletics. Northwest Electric, where we don't want all the business, just yours. Your hometown, Alva Walmart, is proud to support Northwestern Oklahoma State University Athletics. Everyday low price is the cornerstone of our strategy, and our price focus has never been stronger. Today's customer seeks the convenience of one-stop shopping that we offer, from grocery and entertainment to sporting goods and crafts. We provide the deep assortment that our customers appreciate, whether they're shopping online at walmart.com, through one of our mobile apps, or shopping in our store. The Alva Walmart likes to wish the best of luck to all Ranger and Lady Ranger teams this season. 11.28 to play in the second half from Alva as we welcome you back inside of Percival Fieldhouse. Dustin Goodo alongside Chris Ruwalt, Ranger basketball crew here tonight. 11.28 to play. It's Northwestern 71, Manhattan Christian College 42. Rangers, of course, led by 16 at halftime. They've outscored the Thunder in the second half, 26 to 13. In fact, the Rangers 10 of 16 from the floor in the second half. Bounce pass underneath to Love for the two-hand to slam. Count it, and he's fouled as Chance Love to the foul line to complete a three-point play. Yeah, just that's just, that's just, I don't know what the word is. That's just beautiful offensive basketball is what that is. Certainly was, as Chance Love will go to the free throw line. Love has not attempted a free throw this season. Chance to get to nine, though, here. Free throw up, and it's good as Love completes the three-point play. Rangers now lead it by 32, their largest lead of the game. Rangers now seven out of 10 from the free throw line, continuing their good free throw shooting. Lazelle Evans into the front court. Started by Kennedy Milton. With his back toward Milton, out lobs underneath to Miracle, drives all the way in. 
Missed the layup, but he was fouled at the rim. It's probably a good foul by Hansick. No easy baskets there. It'll make Miracle earn it from the free throw line. Yeah, I was just about to make the same point, Dustin. Hansick you know, did about the only thing you could do. The problem was he wasn't really in position there. But it was a nice pick and roll, too, from uh, from the Thunder, from uh, Miracle. And, you know, don't don't give him anything easy, right? Make him earn it at the free throw strike. Miracle's first free throw, no good. Jamal Butters and Larry White back in. Thunder's Chance Love and Marquise Milton exit. Sorry about that, Dustin. Thunder now one for four from the free throw strike. Miracle to the free throw line again. It was two for two coming into the game. Make it two for four in the season now. Junkle with the offensive rebound goes back up and it's swatted away again by Butters. That's his third block. Yeah, Butters just really enforcing his will inside, and he with the blocks and some pretty good defense. Inbound will go to Junkle, create some space against Hansick, who had that last foul. That was his third. 15 foul against the Rangers. Evans around the screen. He'll penetrate all the way in, dish it out to Junkle on the baseline. Now five to shoot. Now to Jackson Hurla for three, no good. Kennedy Milton with another rebound, his third. Milton will bring it up. Milton cross court to J Jason Douglas Stanley. It's batted out of bounds by Jackson Hurla. Rangers will keep it with 23 to shoot. Yeah, that's one of those Hurla just kind of stuck his hand up as he was trying to get over and cover. And uh, the ball just hit his hand. Sometimes it just matters being in the right place at the right time. Oh, Milton. Threw the lob to Douglas Stanley, kind of faded in the paint, missed the shot off the back iron. Hurla back down with it. Around the screen from Miracle. Hurla had his pocket pick, but a reach in foul coming against the Rangers, and Hansick has just picked up his fourth. That'll be the 16th foul. Now, Rangers aren't getting anybody off the bench, so coach is just going to let him play through it. Desmond, Which, you know, with a 32 point lead, you, know, you might as well. Desmond Lindsay will check in. 5'10 junior from Karens, Texas. He'll get Cody Miracle. Now we'll see Chance Love into the game for Eric Hansick. 21 to shoot as Sturts will inbound on the baseline, left to the rim. Inbound to Evans. Evans has got to watch that out of bounds line. He'll go to Lindsay. Lindsay cross court pass to Hurla. Deep left wing, 14 to shoot. Hurla, nice bounce pass through it to the corner, picked up by Evans. Evans leans in at his pocket pick, balls on the floor though to Lindsay. Now underneath to Junkle, goes up strong, but a whistle and a traveling call before the shot. That's the 14th turnover against Manhattan Christian. Rangers will get it back. See, that's what that inside defense does for you though, because you know with the blocks and just the all around tough defense inside, it forces guys to, to maybe rush a little bit and that's where you get your travel calls. Milton to Larry White, hands to Douglas Stanley. One dribble, pass to Butters, hands back to Douglas Stanley, around the screen, spin, move into the paint, back out to White. White drives baseline underneath, lost it on the way in, but a whistle and a foul called against the Thunder. That will go against Desmond Lindsay. First personal foul. For the Rangers, number five, Larry White. Larry White to the free throw line. That was the seventh team foul. White has not been to the free throw line tonight, and he missed that foul shot. He came in three for three. Yeah, and on a night where Larry White's only giving you four points, you still have 74 points because of the depth and just guys stepping up. Here we oh, go. And then Kennedy Milton comes up with a steal all the way in for the slam for Kennedy Milton on the breakaway. Milton now with seven, and the lead is 34. Back up Junkle, he'll trigger up a three and he hits again from the left wing. That's the second made from beyond the arc for Junkle. He's got eight, the lead is 31. Yeah, it's hard to nitpick this Rangers performance tonight, but that time just got a little lazy on the transition defense and gave up the open look. Without a whistle and a foul called on the drive by Milton. As we see Marquise Milton in for Jason Douglas Stanley, who deserves well-deserved rest. Now for the Rangers, yeah, he's been fantastic now. I think he's got, what, 19? He does. Seven out of 11, five of seven from three. Milton's first free throw on the one and one, no good. Rangers have now missed two straight from the foul line. Milton now one for three. It's Hurla, nice crossover move. He'll step into a left wing three, and that's a brick off the backboard. Butters with a rebound as he saved it to Larry White. Cross court pass to Kennedy Milton. Milton penetrates, kicks it. Love, he'll throw up a three, left corner, no good, as he left it short. And a whistle and a foul on the rebound. I think this is going 
Now the other direction, that's gonna go against Larry White. That'll be his third, 17 fouls, so we'll go to the other direction and shoot free throws. Brian Free back in now for Kennedy Milton. Desmond Lindsay, his first trip to the free throw line here this evening. Has not, uh, actually has attempted two free throws. He's 0 for 2 this year. By the way, Dustin, we talked about the uh, Rangers in the first half with the turnovers. They had nine turnovers at halftime. With nine minutes and one second left in the second half, Rangers still with nine turnovers. Desmond Lindsay misses the foul shot. Chance Love with another rebound. That's his sixth. Love on the drive, all the way in, laid it up at the rim. Chance Love now in double figures with 11. The lead is 33. Tell you what, Chance Love has played outstanding off the bench tonight. And Evans fell down, but able to get it to Sturts on the baseline. Actually, that was Miracle, who lost it out of bounds. Ball will go back to Northwestern. Yeah, you're talking about Chance Love. Nine points on four out of five shooting from the floor. Also grabbed uh, six rebounds. He's been really good. Marquise Milton running point now for Northwestern. Rangers lead it by 33, 8.30 to go here in the second half. Milton behind the back dribble, uses the screen, back to Larry White. White threw it cross court to Brian Free, it was tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Northwestern with 16 to shoot. And meanwhile, Coach Strom for the Thunder, I think he sat his starters down. I don't think they're getting back in. I kind of wondered that when he pulled them. Oh, back with about, I don't know, 13, 14 minutes left in the second half, but apparently he's just gonna let his, uh, his young guys get some playing time here. Brian Free with a step back three, no good, rebound. Saved by Larry White. Problem is he saved it to Kennedy Milton, who's on the bench. That'll be a turnover against the Rangers. And Adam Christian will get it back. Jackson Hurla will bring it into the front court. Around the screen from Miracle. Hands to Evans. Evans back underneath to Miracle. On the baseline. Out to Hurla. To Junkle. Junkle. Contested three, hit another one. Junkles third made from beyond the arc. He's open double figures with 11. The lead is 30. Free quickly into the front court, fell down that time, and then threw it out of bounds looking for love in the left corner. And that'll lead us to the under eight media timeout. 7.48 to go here in the second half. Northwestern up comfortably 78-48 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Maybe you didn't know, but people with the flu can spread it up to six feet away, or that the flu can make your chronic conditions worse, or that experts say anyone who lives or works with children should be vaccinated. Maybe you didn't know all the stuff your local pharmacy, Holder Drug, knew the whole time. Stop in and make sure you've been vaccinated this winter as Holder Drug is giving flu and pneumonia shots in the pharmacy. Most insurance coverage will cover your shots. So stop in and see Holder Drug in business for your health since 1952. Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alba Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can be easily corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-albavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. Alba Vision Clinic proudly supports Ranger and Goldbug activities. 7.48 to play here in the second half. Northwestern on top, 78-48 on the Community Bank scoreboard. <laughs> Rangers now outscoring the Thunder 44-16 in the paint. 24-5 off turnovers. Gracious. Big points. Rangers outscored them 35-24 despite the Thunder really playing just about all their bench here in the second half. And by all their bench, I'm meaning, you know, they pulled their starters, so they played nothing but bench for the overwhelming majority of the second half. And the Rangers still lead bench scoring 35 to 24. Did I say that awkwardly? No, it's just something else. Okay. 7.45 to go in the second half as Manhattan Christian will inbound. They've still got it in the backcourt, Evans. Into the front court now as he crossed the half line. Now left of the circle. Now threw it underneath to Lindsey. The left block tried to bounce it underneath to Miracle. It was, oh, I'm going to say off of Manhattan Christian. I didn't think so. I well, thought that gonna, went off yeah, Brian they're gonna, Free. They're, they're going to talk about it. and It'll stay with it. I thought it was off of Free's foot. Free said something to the ref, and the ref kind of smiled and kind of gave him one of those looks. Officials now going to go over to the scores table. 
They're going to put 13 seconds now on the shot clock. So Junkel will inbound left to the rim on the baseline. Inbound will go to Desmond Lindsay. Now to Evans here on the near side. Back up top, Lindsay. Left wing to Hurla. To Evans. Now at the foul line, Junkel. Right elbow. Looks underneath. Threw it to Miracle. Went through his hands. It's taken away by Parsons. Up ahead to Brian Free. And then Free went down. And it's going to be whistled for a traveling call. He's kind of lost his footing in the paint. Tried to get it out to Love, but it's a turnover before. Yeah, that's the second time in a row on back-to-back -back offensive possessions where Brian's kind of slipped over there. Still had the presence of mind at least to try to make something happen. There's a cross-court pass stolen away by Parsons on the drive. Nice jump stop into the paint. Scored off the rim. Count it, and he's fouled for Malik Parsons. Parsons now with 16, a chance to make it 17 here. And yet another, another basket coming off a turnover. 80 to 48. Northwestern on top by 32. Again, keep in mind the Rangers won this game a year ago, 96 76. Shooting for the Rangers, number three, Malik Parsons. Well, it's been all Rangers tonight, as you can tell from the final or from the from the score. Thunder's only led three and a half minutes of this game. Yeah, that was early on in the first half. Yeah, it was. Parsons completes the three-point play. It's 81-48 now, Northwestern. Parsons, four or five at the foul line. Come up with another steal. Parsons on a break all the way in. Slams it home with a right hand. Eight Parsons with 19. Well, that'll get the crowd and the bench up cheering. And that, you know, what you like to see is in a 40-point game, and the Rangers are still working hard defensively, forcing things to happen. Junkle forces up a corner three. No good. Butter skies for the rebound. That's his fifth. To Marquise Milton, now to Brian Free, top of the key for three, and he hit another one. Brian Free's fifth made three tonight. He's got 15, the lead, now 38. 86-48, 6.15 to go second half. Evans with a basketball. Now to Hurla near, near side. Hurla will penetrate, nearly at his pocket pick, forces one up with the right hand. Off the backboard, no good as it did not hit iron. Chance Love quickly up ahead to Parsons, left wing. He'll, he'll try a three, skipped off the rim, no good. Evans runs down the rebound in the corner. Evans into the front court of the far side. Now threw it in the corner, tipped away and stolen by Parsons. Up ahead to Brian Free. Free with the right wing. Thought about the three, now will take the threes. The fender went by and he hit another one. Brian Free now with 18, a six made three, and the lead is 41. Yeah, Brian Free just turns around, just flashes that smile, and everybody's feeling it tonight for the Rangers. Certainly ours. We'll get a quick 30-second timeout. This will be extended to a minute. We'll take it as well. 5.41 to go in the second half. Northwestern, 89. Manhattan Christian, 48. This is Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. 5.41 to go here in the second half. 89.48 on the Community Bank School Board. Northwestern on top of Manhattan Christian College looking to move to 2-0 on the 2022-23 season. Again, Rangers will be back in action here at home against Lone Star opponent Cameron University on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Junkle hands to Evans. Evans stays with the dribble. That's a good bounce pass. Got it to Miracle, but a whistle and a foul called before the pass. This will be the eighth team foul against the Rangers. This will go against Chance Love, his second Thunder will be at the foul line. I believe it's Evans who will be shooting. Zill Evans tonight from the foul line. Has not attempted a free throw. On the season, he is two for two. Free throw up, 
and no good. Miracle gets the offensive rebound. Good hustle there. Of Evans left wing. Now will fire up a three and he hits again. Evans is second made three of the night. He's got six, 89-51. Rangers with a substitution. Kobe McGowan in the game now. His first appearance of the year is Chance Love underneath. Gets by the defender and scores at the rim. Love with 13, the lead is 40. Of course, Kobe McGowan, the 6'1 redshirt freshman from Forgan, Oklahoma. Dunkel drives baseline. Backs down Hansik. towards Fade, shoots, and no good. Douglas Stanley with, with the rebound. That is his second. Douglas Stanley to Marquise Milton. Milton drives all the way in. Layup around the rim and in for Marquise yeah. Milton. His first two of the game. Yeah, just pretty. Yeah, finished it with his uh, left hand. Nice move to the basket. Back comes Herla. Now to Junkle left wing. Over the top, turnover, and it's a steal by McGowan. McGowan back the other way to Hansik. Steps into a three, no good. Rebound by Chance Love, goes back up and scores with a right hand off the glass. So offensive rebound and stick back for Chance Love. He's got 15. Yeah, with contact too. 95-51. Evans into the paint, turnaround jumper. Around the rim, no good. McGowan with a rebound. Back comes McGowan behind the back dribble and a whistle and a foul call. This will go against Evans. That'll be his second. And that'll lead us to the under four media timeout. We'll take it. 3.51 to go in the second half. Northwestern leading at 95-51 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Your eyes are the windows to your health. When was the last time you had them examined? Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, is here to help. Millions of Americans have common vision problems that can be easily corrected. Find a window of time to schedule your eye exam today. For more information, visit visionsource-alvavisionclinic.com or call us to schedule an appointment at 580-327-2393. Alva Vision Clinic proudly supports Ranger and Goldbug activities. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. 3.51 to go here in the second half, 95-51. Northwestern on top as the Rangers attempt to get to the century mark as it will be Kobe McGowan to the foul line. This will be the first free throw attempts of his young career here in a Ranger uniform. We kind of like, you know, some things he's shown you tonight. Good ball handler. And he was brought in by Coach yeah. Patel, and they like the potential. Yeah, he's got he's got good court vision. He's made hit some nice passes, missed his free throw, but uh, you know, in a 44 point game, you can live with that, I guess. Yeah, Rangers now after that miss, eight, eight of 14, of, yep. and missed them both, making eight of 15 as McGowan misses an opportunity to get the name of the paper. Back comes Manhattan Christian. Yeah. Evans, good spin move. Thomas Prado's checked in as well. Jackson Hurla guarded by McGowan, under 20 to shoot. Hurla around the screen from Sturtz. Now continues with the dribble, good defense. McGowan all over him and then forces the turnover there. Terrific defense by the freshman from Forgan. Yeah, it really was. Just again, I mean, all night the Rangers have just been relentless on the defensive end. And again, with a 44 point lead, they haven't let up. Douglas Stanley on the drive, looking underneath. He turned it over, it's a steal. Now back come the other way is Evans, and Evans lost his footing. That'll be a traveling call. But a turnover against Manhattan Christian. Back comes Northwestern. Shimon Martin into the game. Martin, of course, the 6'3 redshirt freshman. Played at Garber, transfer from Sterling College out of Sterling, Kansas, NAI program. Here's Hansick for a left wing three, no good. Rebound tipped around, taken by Martin. Goes back up and he's fouled. And Martin will head to the free throw line. Chance to get his first points in his career at Northwestern. Again, just, just out working him, just working hard. 
Good things happen. So Martin to the foul line. Free throw is up and no good off the rim. Rangers now have missed three straight from the foul line as we see Marquise Milton in for Jason Douglas Stanley. I have to imagine his night is over with. Well, I, I would certainly think so. What a lift he gave the Rangers off the bench tonight with 19 points. Zell Evans whistled that foul on his third, and they get a whistle and a lane violation against the Rangers, so Martin's second free throw attempt will not count. Well, they didn't make it anyway. 2.56 to go here in the second <laughs> half. It's 95-51 Northwestern. Back comes Evans. Hands to Junkle. Junkle dribbles left wing, stops as he's cut off. Threw it up top, back up in between the two circles to Evans. 15 to shoot. Around the screen from Sturts. Martin right there in his face. Evans, he'll take a step back three. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound on the floor, picked up by Junkle. Junkle underneath to Sturts. Sturts backs down the defender, goes up strong with a left hand, missed the shot, but he was bumped and fouled. And Eric Hansick has just fouled out. That'll be his fifth. Yeah, Hansick just down there, just again, just working hard. You know, he just he picks up that foul. Five points, five rebounds for him. And a pretty nice night for Hansick also off the bench for uh, the Rangers. Chance Love will check back in as Sturts will head to the free throw line. Sturts. Chance Love in for Hansick. Hansick's night is over, finishes with five points, five rebounds, and two turnovers. He went two for four from the floor, one of two from the foul line. Sturts the free throw line, first trip tonight. He's two for four this season, make it three for five as he sinks the first. Sturts will get one more. Keep in mind, right after this, we'll have the postgame show brought to you by the Eyesight. We'll be joined by Ranger head basketball coach Robbie Harmon as the second free throw, no good from Sturts. 95-52, Prado with it right wing. He'll fire for three and no good as it's an air ball. Rebound tipped out of bounds, last touch by Evans. Rangers will keep it with 22 to shoot. Kobe McGowan inbound on the baseline. McGowan inside to Love, goes up strong with a right what hand a, and scores. Yeah, what a pass from McGowan. Nice anticipation, nice finish from Love. 97-52, Chance Love with 17. By far a career high for him in a Ranger uniform as Junkle behind the back dribble, steps back, fades away for three, and that one's all backboard as it may have grazed the rim. Love dishes it off to Milton. Milton drives all the way into Prado. Steps into a right corner three, no good as it's an air ball. Martin got the offensive rebound. Stick back is up and good. Count it and he's fouled. Yeah, again, you know, just some of it's just in the right place at the right time, but you know, you can't you can't discount the hard work and the effort that the Rangers have really showed in this entire game. Now they're a free throw away from hitting 100. So Shimon Martin with a chance to hit the Rangers century mark tonight. So for one at the foul line. Free throw is up and it spun out no good. It's 99-52. I think the crowd wants to see the Rangers get to yeah, 100. Yeah, I agree. Jackson Hurla. Erlo will hand to Desmond Lindsay. Out of Junkle. Threw it inside to Sturts. It's knocked away by Chance Love. McGowan's got it now back for Northwestern. And Junkle's going to be whistled for a foul. That is going to be his fourth, and that uh, puts the Rangers in a double bonus. So Kobe McGowan will head back to the free throw line. Number 32, Jackie Junkle. To the line for the Rangers, number 14, Kobe McGowan. Justin getting something uh, straightened out with uh, official stat keeper, Andrew Santangelo tonight. He's doing a great job as always. McGowan's first free throw up and good, and the Rangers go. have 100 points tonight. McGowan's first points of his career here at Northwestern. Second free throw, got them both. Nice job, Kobe McGowan. Rangers have missed like four in a row, though, Chris. Yeah, they had. And, uh, you know, you talk about McGowan, and, you know, you can just see what Coach Patel and, and that coaching staff saw in him. I mean, well, he's going to be a really good player for the Rangers. And McGowan gets a steal from Erla. And then a whistle and a foul called on the other end. So McGowan is going to go back to the free throw line once more. Fouls against number 45, Lazelle Evans. 
It'll be on Evans, his fourth. Shooting for the Rangers, number 14, Kobe McGowan. So McGowan to the free throw line. Did make his last two, make it three in a row now. 102-52, Rangers by 50. Second free throw for McGowan, he got them both. 103-52, McGowan with four. He had 60 seconds left. Hurla with it right wing, guarded by McGowan. Crossover dribble, gets by McGowan, drives all the way in, layup good off the glass. Nice finish by Hurla on the drive, he's got four. 103-52. Back comes McGowan. And whistling. Oh, they're gonna say he turned it over. He stepped out of bounds on the sideline. The turnover against the Rangers, they're 12th. Yeah, but only the third in the second half. Done a much better job in the second half taking care of the ball, obviously. Oh, here's a right wing three up, and it's an air ball. No good from Junkle. Rebound by Thomas Prado. Prado into the front court. 25 to shoot. Prado on the drive against Hurla all the way in. Throws one up with the right hand. Almost went in. Boy, the Ranger bench so <laughs> wants to see him put one in. They certainly do. I think the crowd does, too. Evans. Works against Milton around the screen all the way in. Left-handed layup was too short, no good. Rebound by Marquise Milton. 15 seconds to go, and the Rangers can dribble this one out as he'll throw it across court to Chance Love. Under 10 seconds left. Ranger crowd will rise to its feet as the clock will roll down. Three seconds, two seconds, one, and that is going to do it as Northwestern's going to start the season 2-0, picking up the victory tonight over Manhattan Christian College by a final score of 103-54. to 103-54 to is your final. We will take a timeout as we'll start the postgame show brought to you by the Eyesight Next. This is Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Hi, it's Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we let our reputation speak for itself. Here's what the family of one of our residents had to say about their experience. The love and patience projected by the administration and staff is greatly appreciated by our family. The difference between a job and ministry is evident at Beatles Nursing Home. If you're looking for comprehensive health care in a Christian environment, look no further than Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy, Buick, and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Welcome back inside of Percival Fieldhouse as we begin our postgame show brought to you by the Eyesight. Rangers win it tonight, 103-54. to We're joined here in the postgame by Ranger head basketball coach Robbie Harmon. Coach, first off, congratulations on the victory tonight. Uh, what did you see from you guys tonight in this win? Well, I, I wanted to see us play really hard. That was, that was the whole goal. Um, I mean, it's the goal every game, but I want to play at our level. Um, I, they're, they're a good team, but I, I think we're a, a little step ahead of them. Um, and I didn't want to play down to the level. I thought there was a stretch in the first half where we didn't play our game uh, defensively. And then second half, obviously, I thought we came out. We, we had a ton of energy. We were very active. Um, and that was the goal from the start. So I'm glad they, they turned it around in the second half. Well, I know first half we get off to a little bit of a slow start offensively. But, boy, about the five, six-minute mark is where you guys really turned it on defensively. And it led to some easy baskets for you on the other end and able to push that lead to 16 at halftime. Yeah, th this team's really good in transition. When we can force turnovers, play fast, uh, get the ball out of bounds quick, and, and get it up the floor to, to Malik Parsons and those guys and let them go be the great athletes they are at the rim, uh, we're really good. We're really tough to stop. Um, so. You know, that, that comes back to our defense, though. we got to play with energy. we got to force turnovers and be active in gaps. And, uh, you know, and I think the second half, you definitely got to see that. And I think we, uh, we played really fast and, and how I wanted it to be. Coach, you uh, had nine turnovers in the first half. You come out in the second half and you only have three. Is that, a, is, is, is that just a situation where maybe opening, you know, first night at home, guys might be a little bit amped? And so you have some of that. I mean, is that, is, is, is that a mental thing, or, or are there adjustments you can make at halftime to kind of? Uh... I, I think that, I mean, there's definitely adjustments. Um, the adjustment was we just got to play harder. Uh, offensively, the drives have to be a little more 
um, with something to them behind them, not just you know, playing by yourself in the backyard. you got to rip in there. You're going to get hit. There's going to be arms hitting you. And I think we were really loose with the ball early, and I think we were a little lax days on defense. And, and, I, and that all turned in the second half. I thought right. all our drives, we, we drove with a purpose. Um, we talk about driving to create for others a lot, and I think they did that. But I tell them when you drive with a purpose, a lot of times you get to the rim and all of a sudden no one's there and you have yourself a layup. So I thought we just did a much better job with a better mindset of, of just getting to where we want to go with a purpose. Coach, talk about uh, the three tonight, double and dull and double figures. Malik Parsons, Brian Free, and Jason Douglas Stanley really started to heat up in the second half, going five of seven from beyond the arc. Yeah, you know, Malik's hopefully our a stay at that around that average uh, what would be great. Brian Free can get going at any time, and I'm just happy Jason uh, Douglas Stanley, you know, coming back from injury. It's been a process getting him back, and uh, you know, he's he wants to just be right where he was when he when he got hurt. And I told him it's a process. You got to be in the gym. You got to get shots up and. This was a great game for him just to get going, hopefully uh, get his mind right and stop stop worrying about things that maybe happen, injuries or, or not making shots. And I'm, I'm just glad he finally got going. Coach, uh, before we let you get out of here, I know you probably haven't had a whole lot of time to look ahead to Cameron, but uh, anything you can kind of preview real quick on Cameron on Saturday? I know we've got him at 3 o'clock here. Well, they're, they're a talented team. They're big and long. Um, we got 6-7 wing, uh, D1 transfer. Uh, they shoot the ball really well, and the coach has done a good job. They're they're playing really well offensively, and they've got a, the guys that can hear you from you know one through five guys off the bench too. So, we got to be locked in. We got to really guard. We got to come with that same effort we came in the second half, and and hopefully we can uh, you know make their lives hard on the defensive end, so we can get ourselves out and transition and play really fast. Coach, we appreciate you joining us here on the post game tonight. Uh, again, go celebrate with your team. Enjoy this one and have a great Thanksgiving for you and your family. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank appreciate you. you. Our thanks again to Head Coach Robbie Harmon for joining us here in our EyeSight post game show. As, again, before we wrap this one up, Chris, your final thoughts on, on the tonight? Again, a dominating performance by the Rangers, and really it all started late in the first half and just continued on the second half, as Coach said. Yeah, roughly with about five minutes left in the first half, the Rangers just, just took the game over, and, and you know there just wasn't a whole lot the Thunder could do. And then the Rangers come out in the second half and just really just come out just firing on all cylinders. I mean, at one point you looked over and, and, and they're shooting. Uh, in fact, well, really, I mean, really for the entire second half, they end up shooting 62.9%, which is just – and there really aren't even words for how good that is. End up yeah. shooting 57% from the game. And, um, yeah, Rangers just, just, just took it over. And, and um, you know, of course, that's one of the differences between, like, the way the coach sees the game and the way maybe you and I see the game because I really felt like the Rangers came out with, um, with a lot of intensity from the very get-go. But it was interesting to hear Coach uh, talk about that, that he felt like that the intensity didn't really pick up until the second half. And, but, you know, even with the 40-point lead, you know, you had, you had guys out there playing passing lanes and going for steals, diving for balls, and, and um, just a dominating performance by the Rangers. I mean, you know, you look at this team, Dustin, and, you know, this is a team that can be really, really good. I mean, this is a team that could cause a lot of teams in the GAC some real, real problems. And, you know, you just got to clean it up a little bit. You'd like to see them do a little bit better than 12 out of 20, 60% from the free throw line. You'd like to see that maybe – Closer to 15, 16, 17 out of 20. But, I mean, outside of that, just a dominating performance. Oh, it certainly was. As again, the Rangers win it tonight, 103 to 54. Let's take a look, a uh, quick rundown of the final statistics. Manan Christian goes 21 of 60, 35%, 10 of 32, 31% from three, two of nine for the foul line, 22%. Letting in scoring tonight by Dylan Reed. He finished with 10. Jamie Junkle with 11, seven from Handy, one from Lindsay, two from White, four from Harmiston. Two from Miracle, six from Nicomus, again, one from Sturt, four from Herla, and six from Lizelle Evans. Again, I said that wrong. Jackson Nicodemus with six. Again, uh, Manat Christian goes 28 total rebounds, nine offensive, 19 defensive. Leading rebounder was Sturt's with five. They had 12 assists to 22 turnovers, two steals, and one block tonight. Leading the team in assist was Herla with three. For the Rangers, they shoot it very well, especially in the second half. As Chris mentioned, they go 40 of 70 from the floor, 57%, 11 of 29 for three, right around 38%. However, 12 of 20 from the foul line, uh, 60% tonight for the Rangers. Led in scoring tonight by Malik Parsons and Jason Douglas Stanley with 19 apiece, 18 from free, 17 from Chance Love, four from Larry White, seven from Milton, six from Cheval Butters, five from Eric Hansick, two from Milton, four from McGowan, and two for Shaman, uh, Shimon Martin. And, uh, you know, what's impressive about this tonight, Chris, is you look at the final numbers. Larry White only has four points, only took five shots. You still scored 103 points. That shows just how dangerous this team is offensively. Yeah, it, well, it really does. And, you know, of course, when you have uh, Douglas Stevens 
coming up with 19 points off the bench, that, that really helps. But, uh, yeah, no, no, no question about it. Points off turnovers. Rangers led it 36 to 5. They led in the paint 58 18. Second chance 18 9. Fast break 30 points to 1. Wow. Over Manette Christian. Wow. And bench points 40. How do you get to one 30. point on fast break points? Must have been a foul on a fast break. Well, okay. They count the free throw, I, I, I think. I, I think I'll have to ask our stat keeper that question. Rangers' largest, largest lead was, of course, 51. Uh, again, uh, there were six lead changes. Game was tied four times. Rangers led for 33 minutes, 55 seconds. Manhattan Christian just three minutes and 30 seconds. Rangers led 45-29 at halftime. They outscore Manhattan Christian 58-25 as it adds up to a 103-54 final here tonight from Percival Fieldhouse. So that is going to wrap it up for our postgame show brought to you by the EyeSight. Chris, great job again. Appreciate you joining me. And uh, you and I will do this again, I'm sure, down the road. I sure hope so. These are these are a lot of fun to do. Always enjoy working with my good buddy, Dustin Goodno, the voice of the Rangers. Well, the I, voice of Ranger Nation. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Chris, have a great night and, uh, and have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great family. Thanksgiving, my friend. Appreciate you. Our thanks again to Chris Ruwalt for joining us here on our broadcast. Again, coming up Saturday, Northwestern versus Cameron University right here inside of Percival Fieldhouse as Northwestern, uh, again, tries to make it 3-0 and as they'll go up against Lone Star Conference opponent Cameron University. The Aggies uh, invade Alva on Saturday, 3 o'clock start time. Our Dean Gull Real Estate and Auction pregame show will begin at 2.40 as it will be myself and a very special guest caller commentator. I'm not going to say who. You'll have to just listen or be here on Saturday to find out. But final score, final time. Rangers win it. 103 to 54 as they pick up their second victory on the 2022-23 season. For Connor Gray back in studio, for my partner Chris Ruwalt, this is Dustin Gunnow saying so long and good night, Ranger Nation, and have a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend.